Howdy, howdy, howdy. What up, what up, what up? Hello. Welcome Hello. to Breaking Character. It is Wednesday night, so you guys ready? I can Woo. say your favorite people it's this time because Red's not here. Uh, I, yeah, I was going to say Rev's not here, but technically he is here in spirit, or at least uh, digitally in the chat. So y'all say hi to Rev. Um, hi, Rev. And uh, hi, Rev. Uh, is, Rev is not here because he's needing to take care of a partner who shall not be named um, because they will not Sorry, take care of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you had one They're job. Terrible. <laughs> Not taking care of themselves, and I am going to kick your butt the next time I see him. Uh, Get some rest, babe. We all love you. Um, <laughs> uh, casual bullying. It's it's gonna work, right? It's it's aggressive love. You guys just do all the time. The Obviously, it works. To take care of herself. <laughs> um, but last week we left off the characters of Breaking Character found themselves on a beach. In a very, very cold uh, auroran of of all places, which is very, very high north, where they get uh, cold and extreme cold. Um, the hottest it gets, quote unquote hot, is around 72. Uh, we're not going to talk about how cold it gets. <laughs> Can I move there? Right? <laughs> like IRL? <laughs> this is like no one go uh, uh, Aurora and it's fine. Yeah, this is this is the the Alaskan can Canadian of of the the world and um, yeah. so it gets cold and um, after uh, what was it a lunch with Finn's professor um, some gelato with some interesting mysterious persons. Uh, Boston decided to name drop himself specifically, um, and name also drop, just you know let us know that he had a different name. Let, mm -hmm. Yeah, he, that he is actually not Boston Jones, or yeah, and so left some of the characters um, wondering if if you know this person is the person who they think he is, um, but also revealing uh, some flourished tattoos as well as uh, scars and the, the cybernetic parts that uh, may or may not have been seen by the others um, of the crew. And doing all this heartfelt reveal at Fenrana's very favorite coffee place <laughs> on the beach. Um, uh, yeah, so um, they are... Within, uh, I think it's like it's a it's a couple hours from Fenra's home, um, but they are nearing dinner time, and tide is getting much lower. Uh, the moon has come out, even though it is still daytime. It is gorgeous and very very large and beautiful, and even some of the stars are poked out uh, from the sky of this little. Scenery on the beach, and got, yes. Does it hit your eye like a big pizza pie? There is I no pizza in this world. Samore. <laughs> With the moon. <laughs> um, it is a very gorgeous scenery as the sun is setting and the moon is there. It is is a very lovely dance, and the glistening of the sun setting um, upon the ocean is mimicked or imitated, reflected uh, in the night sky as that uh, same glistening stars are, are appearing. And the individuals on our little adventure are kind of seeing the appeal of this location and why it is a hot spot for research and thought, self-reflection, wonders, philosophy. Um, this is the hub of everything and everything that it has to do with thinking processes and even some creative works. Um, if Plato existed, this would be their, you know, home. And we're going to join in with the crew as we they decide what to do next um, for the rest of the evening. 
Um, if they're going to go one way uh, or another or just retire and start anew the next day. Uh, Boston sitting at the table with Fen nearby in their wetsuit. And uh, Nash and Ramita, I think, still in the beach with their toes getting all nice and numb and frostbit in the uh, icy ocean. I think they're getting clean, them, though. I will give them warning that, like, staying out there too long will, without, like, the proper protections will hurt. <laughs> um, oh, Ramita already cannot feel her feet. I say Nash is waist deep, um, for sure. He, he may be diving in. I don't think he'll stay in for super long, but like minimum, I mean, you do ice baths after a match, right? Like. But theirs are usually for like a minute. And it's been uh, some time since you guys. Maybe five. I don't know how, I don't I, know how if, sports go, but you know. Longest that I've seen someone do it was for an hour. Yeah, you can but do like some ice baths. If if you're doing full like crazy recovery like athletes would do, you can soak in there a while. Mind you, you you're like I get out when you get out of it, but like, but also hour. you were you were probably really like stressing beforehand. No one's done any stressing of the muscles prior to this. This emotional is stre- stressing <laughs> muscles. <laughs> well, I you do especially. You- in- this weird ass high society place. No. Um, there are several. I mean, the nightlife is is beginning. There are are teens, elder teens, adolescents, uh, young adults of various ages, of various uh, demi races, um, people with dark gray skin, dark green skin, light green skin, um, pointed ears. Some with very, very sharp teeth that go up and that go down. Um, All kinds of of individuals having a ball uh, with their nightlife. Very, very few in the ocean at this point. Um, Anybody who is, they are either uh, showing off or um, doing a dare. And they are about to say stupid. And I was like, how dare you? But it's so true. <laughs> Showing off in true? their, their <laughs> Aurora and wetsuits. Um, or or doing a dare in their very, very basic booty shorts and mesh crop tops. As uh, they're all, all walks of life. Um, mostly of the elvish human ascendant descendants, but some also orc and um, dwarvish. I'm gonna stumble out, shivering. Like I've never felt so, so clean. She'll do that. Yes. Um. Do you want? Do we have? I can get some blankets or towels if you need warmed up. Or um, I'll I'm just sure. put my my shoes will, will be fine. Make sure not to put the leather, correct? Don't put them on while your feet are wet. That might hurt. (laughs) We gotta go Uh, meet your brother, right? Um, to be fair, that's probably just gonna be at home. Because Harad's supposed to be home today anyway. This does seem like a good area for us to talk to people, though. Yes and no. Most of these are tourists. I was actually going to... Uh, no, never mind. He wouldn't have checked that. I'm probably going to try to do some more um, research or discover anything about our good friend. Uh, what's her name? Um, Atlantis. See if I can find anything about what she's been up to. Uh, but I figured I would want to at least meet your older brother. 
beforehand. Well, you know, that's a choice. I thought you wanted to see your brother. We have a well enough relationship. As long as we're not trying to throw barbs at each other. I'm sorry, throw bats? B- bobs. Uh, we argue. Oh, I think you said bobs. Like you throw chunks of bob at each other. Like I, I thought I had shit childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, didn't think you could control. lift a bath, so I was very confused. Lift a- I. I can lift a bat. Bath, like. Uh, like a bathtub. I think is what I want me to use. try to say. Bathtub. Why would you? But if we could get fish like that in bathtubs, I would use them more often. You realize that was really that we cool. Could, we could have like those are routinely in spas. Like the, those specific fish are used in spa treatments. I was gypped. Those girls didn't take me to anything with a fish. I thought spa day was just like... But I know it's in Auroran. Do you want me to take you to a spa? Here in Auroran. Maybe. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) It's up in the air for now. I mean, it can be arranged. We have some time time to kill. Either way, um, yes, we should probably get back to my house. If you'll recall, um, the opening, well, the VIP opening of the new city, the nautical, that, um, is... I say just off the shore, but it is a good couple of miles, considering its size. Um... Uh, from the beach of where you're at um, Mm -hmm. is in three weeks. And I believe there was another... DM is forgetting things. There was another thing that was going to take a week. Um, Um, I think it was something to do with uh, my teacher, what he was looking into for us. Right. It was going to take a week for that um, information at least to find... So, you all head back to Fen's home? E. Is there anything else we can do? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, Fen. You have not sold your brother well to us. Um, not even a little bit. Most of my family uh, will In fact, you, you have... Um, it seems like you're dreading this encounter. I'm dreading this encounter. Um, the I'm dreading this liked, encounter because... <laughs> di- don't look favorably on any of us. So... Except your mother, but I think she's just trying to be friendly. I don't think she likes me. I I don't think she likes me either. No. Mom likes everyone, honestly. Any anyone. He's getting shade. Um, but okay. Um, Well, you know, you you weren't born with platinum spoon in your mouth, so you know it's probably difficult for them to understand. Uh My mother didn't come for money, you realize. I mean, how long has she been My there? My father, father does. They met in the academy. So her whole life. So, uh, Not what, really. 30, 40 years? You're 20-something? And you got a couple of older siblings? Yes. That's a lot of time to forget. I was going to say, it seems like she's more like the... The friendly, polite to us, not the like fully welcoming. For the record. like the oh, your friend's friend, yes, come in, but not like oh, please, I'm so excited to meet you. I think she's nice enough. That's not what I'm getting at here. That's not I, I, of your family. Your mother is so far my favorite by far. <laughs> Agreed. Her tea is delectable. Uh, she is at least kind. 
um, and doesn't look down her nose immediately. She waits for you to fuck up. So. I suppose. Do you all want to stay somewhere else? If it's We don't have any money here. I, I do. I can have lodging elsewhere. I can get us lodging elsewhere. If that makes you all more comfortable. Valdrick ben. also offers uh, that he can pay for things. Baldrick, you know, we don't know, but he doesn't have. No, do Fan, I don't think you get the point. It's nothing against your. your pl this place just. It's elitist. <laughs> and with. I also think at this point, it's the fact that her brother has been described as a copy of her father. Sorry, and, their brother has been a copy of their father. And I would like to meet him because I'm curious to actually meet your old man. I would actually like to meet him because I have a few questions. Can be arranged. But if if I will say this, if he talks to me like I'm a moldy piece of bread, I can't promise you his teeth might be all in his mouth when I'm done talking to him. That wouldn't be the best, but uh, understandable. Also, I'll put him back in after I'm done with him. Question. Father's only hold on people he's related to, really. Outside of us, he's perfectly genial. Wait a minute. He, yeah, uh, okay. but if he's mean to you, sorry. I, I was just gonna say that if 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 this society runs on on reputation, and your brother is semi high ranking. We could, in fact, pay for a hotel by possibly socking your brother. <laughs> Ethan, put a, put a head on your brother. Put a head on your brother real quick. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, that's how you get it here? No. <laughs> that's literally how. I would have punched so many people in the university. It was so easy. Their targets are, like, none of them have their guards that's up. That's why it's not how it works here. <laughs> Oh lord. Um, no, that's not how that works. No, it's gotta be somebody like important, right? It's King of the Hill style. No, no, no. no. Um, you watched oh, King of the Hill? Watched... Like... I mean, there's fight modes, King of the Hill. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. N no, no, that's not how that works. Um, punching my brother or my father. Would land I... us in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Especially seeing as apparently my brother's thinking about taking up a council role. How old your brother? Uh, but he's not I can't yet. Remember exactly how much older than me he was. I can look up my notes. I was twenty three, and I think he was like five to six years older than me. Correct. Or was he closer mm. to 10? Or was that uh, Kelser? I think I he's closer to 10 years, years older, and but, Kessler yeah, 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 yeah. is in between. Yeah. And then the twins were a surprise way late. It, twins were definitely a surprise. Either way, let's go and talk to your brother. I'm fine staying there. I'm just saying, this place is nearly as charming for some of us. It's beautiful, but we just stick out more than... Uh, Ramita in Asana. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I am in a spa. Just how you hold yourself. You're very distinct. <laughs> and your hygiene. I feel like you're insulting me, but <laughs> you you know this. When you live in the country, you have to conserve water. Yes, you live in a house with plumbing. <laughs> Yeah, but you still gotta conserve water. You got gotta deal with what you got. That's what I was raised on. So baths weren't important for me. You know, do a little dust off, make sure you don't get dirt in your bed, and you're good. Either way, <laughs> I miss shower tokens. <laughs> Boston says as we get into the car. <laughs> <laughs> so you all climb into the car um 
you return um, going up the windy road that it takes to go from the beach uh, to the main flat area of the majority of the city, um, going past all of the fairly touristy things as the beach is a high uh, traffic area, um, not just for out of state tourists, but college uh, kids, um, academy kids. And um, return going through the the um, many neighborhoods and the, the business areas, business districts, until it starts to uh, dis um, dissipate as well back to the sporadic areas that is the uh, estate region where there are houses here there and you get to the gate that is the Etzeth estate and it opens welcoming having recognized your vehicle upon uh, the initial arrival and you drive that long stretch of a road to get to what really is finally hammering it down <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the driveway into the multi-car garage of the uh, the estate uh, the lights are on and in this light, where it is just post sunset, dusk, the house's uh, glamour is probably at its peak. Um, the fading light dancing on the walls of the uh, giant clamshell of a house and the lights within and reflecting upon the many faceted glass mosaic structure and the fountain in front just glistens as it seems like the house is now alive and breathing um and for some it is absolutely gorgeous and welcoming some might be even more intimidating but the lights are on inside, and there are definitely figures walking around. And I know you seemed sheltered, but like, it never felt like this much. My one bedroom apartment must have been fucking shit. I, I do have experience staying places outside of this. I stayed in the academy dorms. I've stayed. Okay, you gotta show us the dorms next, cause. Okay. <laughs> I don't see those as being anything. It's like Hogwarts dorms. Like, yeah, it's a definitely a dorm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Sure, Brett. Listen, you haven't listen, seen them listen, yet. Listen, listen. <laughs> we all knew Fen didn't know how the real world fucking worked. Now you guys get to see fucking why. <laughs> it's gonna be a cruel awakening. <laughs> oh, it already has been. <laughs> and so you enter. Yeah. And you hear... Well, first, what gets um, people is the smell. Food. Delicious food. Nothing like you've had before um, at this Bloody location. Beef. Breakfast was not like this. Dinner before was not like this. Um, there are things that are roasted, things that are baked. Um, my the favorite's home. <laughs> Is it that sort of vibe? The favorite's yeah, home, so playing not out the best stuff? Brett, shut up. <laughs> I'm not the I'm favorite, trying... so I don't know what this is talking about, for the record. I'm, I'm not the favorite. To... <laughs> let, me give the, let me give me the scenery, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, my coming home was a lot more unexpected. I didn't call great. mom to tell her that, hey, I'll be here by this day. I just kind of showed up. Um, and it's, it's whatever foods that you can think of, you know, fresh baked bread, um, 
roast beef, potatoes, uh, anything that, you know, that, that that's just wafts of, of welcoming home and a family, almost like a Thanksgiving, um, is, is in the air. The lights, um, the kitchen and dining area have the brightest lights. The rest of the house is still kind of fairly lit because of the nature of, of the design. The walls and... literally glow. There's no dark. <laughs> <laughs> the darkest areas are equivalent to being underneath the tree in... <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck. Pandora. <laughs> from Avatar. <laughs> Um, actually, it's probably the pool area, but you know, anyways, um, and everyone from the sounds of chatter and laughter is either in the kitchen or in the dining area. And Fen, with your passive 18, all do I hear, but but also (laughs) the fact this is your family, um, you know, it is mom, dad. The twins, Harad, Kessler, and one other. Whole whole family. This other is female in origin. Well, if you you want to go in there, if my father, everyone is in there, plus someone else. Do you want? I don't know if I'm ready for this. Do you want to go in there first and? chat before we go in there and Absolutely make a show, not. make a circus out of it? No, it's even better just to throw everyone at it once. More importantly, are we making a statement? I actually want to talk to people before I start throwing hands. <laughs> if you're willing to follow my lead on this, Nash. Mm. I, I will what follow would your the statement lead be? unless Fen takes us in a different direction. Because this is Fen's home, so fair enough. I, I, yeah, I'm willing, but that's why just I'm asking. Over, overview of what you want to do, so I can maybe prepare myself. Don't know how many. I don't even know yet. what's going on. Good to I, know. Uh, we're meeting. I just want to talk. Them. Hmm. All, all of my family's in there. All right. of them. Right. Yeah, I'm not ready for this. It'll be fine, probably. Then you hear, uh, Master Fenrana, please. Everyone is gathered in the kitchen. Um, if you are ready, this is Roderick. <laughs> uh, yes, let's go. And I'm just we- gonna march forward as straightened as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Roderick like leads bad the procession of you and your group into uh, the dining area, and um, Fen, this is um, where most of the dining happens. So it's nothing um, too extravagant, though it can be made to be the the huge, you know, family gathering, um, as it um, could be during holidays. And more it's- the personal dining room rather than the show. Exactly. However, it seems to be decorated as the show. Um, there are decorations, but minor. Um, it definitely, for the rest of you, it does not look like it did this morning. But being uh, everything is showy anyways, it doesn't look much more different. But Fen, you know that this is... Um, They're putting on a show. This is different. Um, but it's not like... Did her brother get engaged or something? I oh, am. No. You're thinking in um, <laughs> Brett's head, something big is happening. Maybe not any theatrics or uh, Boston said blah. Sorry. Fine. People actually started, started nicknaming me Boston. I said, you know, I can't hold Boston's my home. It's like, okay, your nickname's Boston. I'm like, cool. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you see the twins are um, playing a usual game of no, I didn't snack the food that is being prepared um, uh, uh-huh, as mom uh-huh. is yeah I didn't do that that wasn't me that was yes um, and, and then of course 
fake blaming the other as they go around and just like putting their hands over whatever is available um, as mom tries to slap at both of them. Um, father is also um, doing his own fair share, but also um, talking with uh, Harad. And Kessler is speaking with the woman's voice that you did not see or did not um, didn't know. No, doesn't know. Um, this woman is Kessler's height, um, which is shorter than um, Harad. Uh, she has long ears, uh, pointed. She has a round face. Um, not quite angular as your brother's um, or anybody in the uh, area, but... Um, very um, human, but also she has like a very button nose, kind of gnomish. Like oh, very soft features. Very soft features. Very, and very uh, cute. Um, cute as a button? Cute as a button, without, without even trying. But her makeup is even more so as she has added like um, star freckles and, and constellation... Um, I make up. Um, she is <laughs> she is in a very Elsa like gown mm-hmm. and um, is some beautiful gold jewelry on her uh, wrists, necklace. Um, there's a we constellation. The <laughs> huh? And we were just at the beach. You were just at the beach, <laughs> coming in all fairly I'm, wet. I'm, for the record, I know for a fact that Baldrick, before we even got there, would have dried all of us off using press well, presentation. Probably, yeah, yeah, probably yeah. made sure oh, yeah. you all. Probably as soon as he he understood that there was something going on, turned mm-hmm. around and was like, "You are all fancy now." Yeah, um, and straight and ties, yeah. head across <laughs> to the side, like we were ready to go. Thing um, after being dried and clarifying that we do not want to come in and wreck this. Um, Nash will put back on his suit, um, for the record, um, and he'll probably ask Baldrick's help in, in, in ironing it a little did bit. Did you, did you take it off after? Yeah, well, like, he took water. it off to go okay. in the water. He did not go in okay. the water in a full suit. Um, yeah, no, he didn't right, call Boston, to... who did, t- <laughs> he was in his suit pants as he went down there. I was there trying to just... remember if you, if he wore it for the meeting with the teacher and throughout the whole day, or if it was yes. just a dinner thing last night. Okay. Um, All right, he's cool. been wearing it uh, around here to try and work yep. with Finn. Okay. Trying to like, okay. make the best impressions and not fuck up Finn's life. Making making okay, there, making there. a mental note of that, thank you. Um uh, for the rest of you, uh, <laughs> and, and and those who do not check out the Pinterest board that I've made. <laughs> um, who are you? <laughs> Kessler is a short an image of uh, someone that looks very similar to Finn, but also uh, distinctly is related to um, the other two males in the room. Uh, also has round features, um, but also masculine uh, identity and um, like the the cheekbones, uh-huh. the pointed jaw, and um, but he's a short king. And um, he is wearing uh, what could be considered uh, what we consider to be like noble attire. He's wearing the del- uh, single breasted um, uh, blue eh, shol- sol- shol- words Perfect pronunciation attire. soldier type of thing with with uh, buttons. a uniform. Not really, but like a, a showy uniform. Mm. Um, Cer- ceremonious uniform. Yeah. Ceremonies with- and like awards. Yeah. Yeah, and like the flat pads, shoulders with the ruffles just around. Give them the picture? You can, um, but I'm also going to continue to try and struggle just oh, the yeah, description no, for that. audio. <laughs> um, and of of course, um, ironed pants, um, some white blemishes like on the shoes and gloves. Um, but it also it doesn't look like it's um, ceremony. It looks like what? yeah. And then um, a much taller, broad-shouldered version of him is standing not too far uh, from the counter um, in the kitchen. Uh, he has a, a, a square 
face, round jaw, and um, not quite so poignant in the cheekbone area. And he is wearing something similar, but a little more um, ornamental. It's uh, the colors aren't so sharp. The the there's more beading. There's more embroidery. Um, looks more like a brocade version of the younger uh, gentleman. And um, then there is the probably tallest version, um, but not by much. He's almost identical height to the individual that he's speaking with. And he is wearing a high collared uh, shirt or jacket um, that is more... Um, what we would think like a high wizard would wear. High collar, um, double breasted suit, and then a semi cape over the one shoulder. Um, his is more black, navy, navy blue ish. Um, and the twins are um, wearing some other kind of like semi formal, but mom made me wear formal clothing um and they are wearing like long billowy uh shirt white uh blouse with long billowy sleeves that come to cusps or um not cusps cuffs is it cuffs 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 yes yeah, like cufflinks yes sleeve. Yes, I don't know. I didn't think why I didn't think that was the right word. Um, and then these these vests that go down to the floor with these long open sleeves that have its own uh, level of gold and blue, blue blue embroidery on top of white. And then each individual child has either pants or a skirt, uh, depending on the feeling of their NB pronouns for that day. And mother is elegant as always wearing a similarly high colored sh- uh, dress um Those two, God damn it. with the nice saturated blues that she has that she chooses to wear uh, the the woman in question seems to be blending in but also standing out in that hers is an icy blue um but they're all in the same similar theme And uh, father looks over. Fenris, my- pardon me, Fenrana. Greetings, wonderful to see you. And steps away, um, taps brother on the shoulder or elbow, and walks towards you with a glass of um, a fruit, not fruit, flute glass uh, of drink. A little thin ones. Yes. <laughs> um, Fancy. And. Uh, Picks one up from the table and hands one to you. I'll take it. Hello, Father. Um, I wasn't informed of anything happening tonight, otherwise I would have dressed more, apparently. Oh, yes. Um, unfortunately, we we did not either. Um, your mother only heard about this a couple hours ago. Um, we were not... Um, your mother said you were on business and we weren't sure you were going to join. Um, if you wish, there is still time. We do have... Um, your mother's still trying to finish up um, what she can, despite the twins' uh, efforts. And uh, you can hear the two go, nah, uh Dad, we're being good. Uh, being yes, good. yes, we know. <laughs> Why don't you sit down? Kids okay. need to grow. And I see you have brought guests. Uh, yes, all of my associates who are working with me on the case I'm currently on. Wonderful. Is, um, I understand you, uh, your mother informed me you are now a Lumen, which is wonderful. Congratulations. Um, I don't suppose there's anything you could, uh, share with us at dinner tonight. I'm very not, curious. Not too many details, unfortunately, especially not around the twins. They have already proven to uh, be entirely too interested in a topic that is going to get them hats. And your father, uh, his disposition changes. Um, everyone else, if you want to know, 
Uh, roll me an insight. Oh, yeah. Guidance. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I put I put Ooh. the pictures of my brothers in the characters chat. I'll take it. Seventeen. <laughs> Ooh. I apparently was in the wrong character. Um, so, <laughs> what? Uh, what? What? Did How did you? I don't know. I was in a rush. How did you do that? <laughs> Which campaign did you fall into? <laughs> um, this was from a campaign. Literally the very first uh, one shot I ever played with A and I. Um, uh, in 2019. <laughs> wow. Oh, goodness. That's like, I think I did it also in 2019. That's my first time I did something with um, A&I. The character is Sotar of House McDonald. <laughs> Charming. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a 10. You got a 4 and a 10. Okay, so Ramita <laughs> and, and Nash... Um, do not pick up on this, no matter how much you try, or even if you're not trying. Um, Boston, you pick up on this just as much as Fen does. Um, the mention of um, the twins and their safety, um, this is an active activation of uh, protective father bear. Um, the eyes furrow a little bit. Um, the brow comes down, the shoulders get tense, and, you know, the swallows, clears throat. Understand. Um, anything we need to know? Mother, some details. I can try and give you more later. She has told me that the twins are grounded, but, um, she was obscure about the details, so, um... If it is all related, then um, I shall yeah. I shall reinforce her decision. Um, thank you. Of but, and he raises his voice. Tonight is an interesting night. Uh, Harad um, has requested this gathering. Um, so, uh, Harad, please, um, would you like to tell us what this is all about? And Harad speaks up. Um, not quite, but um, I suppose if everyone is already here and um, if it's if it's all right, what's up, Boston? Well, I, I, Boston, will, the guy can talk. Boston's will say, if this is a family member, we can we can excuse ourselves. But if the guy's like, if it's all right, go ahead. <laughs> Might tell us to leave, so I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, hang on, I am. Where is words? I had written down words. Oh, that's terrifying! They disappeared. I hope you know, like I out of character really quick, just to like. Oh God, I'm fucking stressing right now, guys. Oh God. I joined a cult, guys. Death to the machine. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine um, that's the news? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> not even mm. that, it's just... I have been dreading this moment as my character for a hot minute. <laughs> you're taking it surprisingly well as you're eating I your... Mean, as you're eating the glass that you're eating. That is faking it! <laughs> Anyone who wants to roll an inside check on Fen right now knows they're fucking faking it! Oh, 100%, <laughs> considering your dad almost dead named you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. In front of a stranger. <laughs> Not almost. Did for he a second. He did. He did for a hot minute and then switched it up. <laughs> um. Harad uh, looks around, um, nods at all the guests, and then stands closer to the female and pulls them closer ha with hand around the waist and says, "Solana and I are engaged." Do I know of Solana? Do I know of Solana? You know of Solana, but this is their first time meeting her. Um, the, through Mother and whatever communication you've had. Yeah. Um, because Harad is also very private, just like yes. your father. Um, but Mom being the the uh, inquisitor of the family. The gossip. The word you looking for is the gossip. <laughs> She is talking. She knows all. She Her is. She is. All. She is the news and the broadcast of the whole family. Um, 
he's been he's been talking to this um, this individual since graduation. Um, met her during uh, his first um, uh, not intermission. The thing that you're doing. Um, internship. Oh, my internship. That, the internship. Um, met her during his first internship um, and then kept close uh, through um, their careers and worked on a couple of projects together. So um, Bocell did exactly what dad did with mom. <laughs> essentially. Essentially. Um, but the, the thing that piqued your mother's interest was that they actually never had any classes. It wasn't until the internship that they met, um, which was sort of ironic and all that stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, you've heard of her. Um, you've heard uh, nice things about her through through mother. Um, but yeah, and Auroran uh, uh, through and through, but also um, family's not nearly as established as yours. Yeah. Congratulations. What's the Solana. young woman's name? Solana. Solana. Congratulations, Harad. Thank you. Um, this was uh, quite overdue, is uh, what Harad is trying to say. He's um, always had a bit of a cold feet you might say um but uh a little prodding from my family somewhat uh helped push him over the edge you might say and she is uh very much glowing and at this point you might um with an 18 passive and boston with a 17 you'll see the ring now it's a very beautiful elegant um Sunflower, but it's in blue. Oh, that's very pretty. I'd, I'd want that ring for me personally. I love sunflowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, you do. I totally. It's my favorite flower. Yeah, it's my favorite. Flower. It is. It is. Uh, it is what you might think uh, a sunflower would be if, like, the sun and moon were engaged. How comfortable does Harad look <laughs> with this whole situation? Because she. <clears throat> what's what's the vibes of the uh, the soon to be uh, sister in law to our dear uh, Fen? So Man, Lana, we'll... you you want to roll again? I I mean, let's just say I could get with a seventeen, but she seemed way too eager. <laughs> okay, so your seventeen is on... for the father. The yeah, go ahead and roll for the the new couple. I would and like yes. to roll for the glowing that you mentioned. That's that's what I'm talking about. Like she's giving me a weird vibe with it, and I got a 14, not as good as last time. Ramita, go ahead and roll. I'm getting a different dice. Please don't <laughs> fail me. <laughs> I will from this time too. Awesome. <laughs> um, halfling's luck. Okay. Hey. hey. Finally. It only you took remember? A full year. <laughs> oh no. Oh, did a you 13? pull a Laura? <laughs> A 13? Okay. I yeah, that's better. that's better. Yeah. I was, I was going to say, did you roll a Laura where you got two ones in a row? Fuck. <sighs> okay. Oh. Uh, 13 or 14. Um, it's not... Um, you, the DC was pretty low because they're not hiding anything. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. It's not, not high, but... Um, she I, is <laughs> glowing. She is absolutely... She's in love. Ha yes. Um, oh, gross. Harad... <laughs> <laughs> pregnant glowing no <laughs> okay no she's 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 happy to be here she is absolutely like her eyes do not leave him um and he's very hesitant to step away from her um very newly wed or newly engaged newly mm -hmm. they're in love um and harad's a little tipsy <laughs> He's had a few <laughs> drinks already. Um, he's, you know, depending on, on his tolerance, he's like on his ninth flute. Um, he's he's celebrating. Bassoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
um, the clarinet. <laughs> Fen is going to get a little text message and say, "If you want us to leave, you can, we can." You can talk to me in my oh, head. Oh, th- yeah. Yeah. It's like she, if they establish this, the seems really personal. If you want, we can just get out and we can get dinner later. Like, or we can just order or whatever. It seems kind of like a family matter, and we're kind of butting in. <laughs> Or do you need us here? <laughs> Please don't leave me with these people. With a 17 passive, you see... Uh, so nine placements. To... Nine oh. placements on the table. They were fully expecting us all. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, there's more. A seven plus four. So 11. There's oh, at least okay. 11. There's 11 placements. 12 because even anyway. <laughs> I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Okay, yes. <laughs> There's 12 placements, but one of them, like, is is the napkins More in the center. Than, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, please don't leave me with these people. Uh, please don't leave me with these people. However, we probably should go get changed. Somehow. I mean, Boston's wearing the only suit he owns, so like, I can help you. Nash is also wearing the best clothes that he's been in. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> All I have right, right, is right, that we, we my fit the em- environment a little bit more. Um, the twins pipe up. We can help. Yes, they come running up at you. Um. Uh. Only if you will offer some m- well-do apologies. What for? Yes! Why? I look at them. It's very rude to talk down about people's faith. Roll a persuasion. Mm hmm. I figured. Why? You used to do it all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> Shut up. I'm worried for my fucking mistakes. No, I'm saying that if I, if I was a younger sibling and I was one. <laughs> there's several factors going on here. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. Oh, they don't stand a fucking chance. Um, You did not get another nat 20. Yes. Persuasion. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. It's, it's just, just an 18 plus 9. <laughs> kind of like 47. <laughs> can I can I get some of your dice? Like So that with a 20 dice. 20 to 7. 27. The twins uh look at you and they look around to see if anyone else heard. Meaning mom, dad, and you know. Mm-hmm. Uh did you say it loud enough for everyone else to hear? No, I'm not going to embarrass them. However, okay. Okay, the two immediately walk over to Boston and Nash and um, give a a heartfelt, sympathetically apology of um, not sharing views, uh, not having the same views and um, looking down on them for so looking down on them or or yeah, it's it's a it's a heartfelt apology and it's a. Detailed and eloquently put, which I'm not going to try because I know I will fumble it. <laughs> does, does it sound rehearsed like they've had to do on heartfelt apologies before, or? It's a mixture. Like, there's a template that they follow, but it is very customized to, to you and your situation. So like, they have to apologize a lot, but no, they it's, know how to adjust it. It's, They're trying to impress their favorite sibling, but also at the same time, they don't necessarily mean what they're saying. <laughs> No, they mean what they're saying. Oh, good. <laughs> they, they, mean, they mean what they're saying, but at the same time, like, they're better with words than I am. So, like, to many people, it might sound rehearsed. Um, if you want to do an insight check, you'll have to. But I, it's... Yeah. Uh, yeah I it's, will also be doing an insight check. Like, there's a ton of, like... Think Gilmore Girls, where they just... Spit out That's essays. Like <laughs> Boston is not doing an insight check for the record. In their minds now. I feel like this is a normal thing when when somebody is like giving you an apology, and you don't know if they're like you. You generally have an eye to see if they're 
if they mean it or not. So, like, I feel yeah. like this is something that he'd normally kind of insight mm -hmm. the other person, no matter who right. it is. Um, and also, as we've discussed part of your background, you have also involved yourself with kids at, to a degree. Um, this a is... A child. Um, these... <laughs> The, the more things that he had, was the weirder that was sounds. timing. Um, <laughs> um, no, this um, this is a this is a sincere apology. Um, you gather that they're not a hundred percent sure why. Um, they don't quite get how they were insulting, perhaps, um, because they didn't come out with an actual insult. They were polite. Um. And it's that whole, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Well, they did say something, but they didn't say something rude. It's a gray area, but they are apologizing and they do feel bad since Fen has pointed out that they were in the wrong. And even if they don't understand it, they understand the importance of um, uh, repairing relationships. Like they don't understand your point of view, but they're still gonna they're putting an effort. Does that make Grant's sense? Like, oh, yeah. that was oh, a good apology. Siblings. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Well, <laughs> as a uh, as a thank you for the apology, uh, if it's okay with uh, what's Fenora's last name? Boston or Brett? Completely forgot. That's That's Would it be okay with uh, uh, the Etsits if I show them some of my um? Uh, something out um, towards a vehicle just so, so after dinner and all that jazz. I know we got things going on. Are you outing the twins in their apology or just talking to them? Just talking to them the in general. Just is it okay if I like? Uh, yeah, I'm confused. DM is he he's I'm asking, sure. is it all, all right? Well, as it as a thank you for apology and he'll say with the wink, then like, is it all right if I uh, after dinner, uh, I I show the um. The twins, because Boston doesn't remember their names. Um, uh, something outside in a vehicle. <laughs> um, mother holding a, a dish and bringing it to the table with, with Roderick in tow. Absolutely, yes. After dinner, they are free to do as they please. Um, but um, dinner will be uh, ready in about 30 minutes, um, everyone. Um, but please, have some odors. Um We are... We are celebrating <laughs> a new family member. This is wonderful, Rod. And she turns around and starts dotting over a Solana as Roderick is now taking over the kitchen stuff. And father right, is, mother. yeah, father is is also joining into the kitchen to try and help. Um, and, Awkward and, dad uh, getting to see his first son being <laughs> married off as far as like, oh no. <laughs> like, surprisingly, he's surprisingly adept in the kitchen, um, <laughs> but is also kind of like a I don't know what to do at this point because. Everything's technically done, but also the news is out, and that was why we're here. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, the twins grab you guys by the <laughs> hands, wrists, and lead you upstairs to um, your rooms um, and show you guys closets of clothing that they actually have arranged. Um, Boston, you have at least three different types of outfits that are in your size or roughly they could be a little more um tailored but they are of your height and width um for for just being here in Aurora because you're supposed to be here for a while and Nash you also have uh clothing that you can wear um does is... Roderick take measurements when he's looking at us <laughs> oh yeah he's he's a he's got scanning he scans everyone oh also, has anyone ever given Roderick a nickname? I feel like you two would give Roderick a nickname, right? We used to call him Roddy. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, or Rods. Rods has We don't nickname. really... The Rodster. Racing Rodder. Rodster. Roderick has had many nicknames throughout the years of his service with Dwarf Valley. Yeah, Finn had a name. What'd you call them? Rattle. 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 I was a child. Like the rattle? I'm going to go change. <laughs> Fen as soon as Fen leaves, as he's so hanging out with the twins, he says, hey guys, you want to see something cool? Hey kids, want to see a dead body? Anyway. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, and he takes out the nitro knife. 
Oh, oh my gosh. This whole time, Granny's been wondering if we still had the body in the trunk. Like, as soon no. as she said that, like, I thought we got rid of that. We got rid of the body. The body? The kids say it loud. <laughs> of course, you're upstairs in your, your own yeah. little quarters, so. Oh, and Ramita, you also have clothing in your uh, chambers. Um, the kids have, um, being that they're height, they uh, actually have given you some of the clothing that they don't um, wear often. So, and you have a choice between um, the male and and the masculine and feminine um, for the clothing. I feel like for this, Granny's gonna go masculine. Okay, go for but like yeah, the um, suit and tie. Cause I don't see Granny wearing like dresses comfortably. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Boston will show them the knife, not let them hold it, because he doesn't know these children, and giving them a sword made out of fire seems like a bad idea. Very bad idea. That's a genius hey, idea. You want yeah. to test it out? Please stop. Uh, on what? <laughs> on what, Nash? What are we going to do? Um, Nash is... What is uh, it? How do you use it? it? I've been working on something. Um, sure. And he's uh, going to do uh, a sharp little... Uh, little movement across um and like sort of uh steeple out his hands um and speak into them pretty quietly um and cast sanctuary on himself um uh meaning he's warded against attack so you can uh stab him and um he, he won't get hurt sure all right uh <laughs> <laughs> sure yeah, he's like I'm a, I'm a healer i got this i think it's too bad <laughs> You can stab him. Fuck. So, uh, kids, just take a step back real quick. I think Boston actually knows the spell sanctuary. Hang on, let me check my spells. So he might know this trick. He, he may recognize it. <laughs> uh, known spells sanctuary, sanctuary. I do know sanctuary. Yeah, it's always prepared. <laughs> He's like, uh, all right, uh, kids, take a step back. We don't want to like any issues or any pain or anything like that. Okay. And they they do they step back. They're like, "What are you going to do?" All right, he um, um, turns it on, and it, it's, I, I think it's just button his shirt so that like. <laughs> I will say also, he, Boston's gonna try and do that trick where you like it's one of those false knives, so it just like closes as it goes to him. So in case he actually does stab him, instead of you know a scorching like plasma knife into his stump chest, it's like maybe like just a hot flame. <laughs> It's no, it's definitely a plasma knife. All right, sorry, Nash. I mean, it's a flame that a flame that burns hot enough to be a plasma knife, and yeah. it is a a knife, so it is like seven to nine inches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I need to kind of sanctuary him, so I need to roll a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh, great! This is good. All right, uh, to see if I hit him. Uh, that's a total of I can I can do math. What's um. What's your AC, Tony? Uh, 17. Your AC? The, the, no, this is for the Sanctuary spell. I have to make a Wisdom saving oh, throw to oh, break okay. it. Oh. Well, I was yeah. at, uh, it's just a 12 DC. My, I rolled a 13, 9 plus 4. <laughs> okay. uh, so I can't I actually attack him. So I'm going to stab him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. N Nash is very quick. Um, yeah, to roll a dex to see if... Wait, do you stab or you throw? No, he's gonna stab him. I'm not throwing oh, a knife okay, that's okay. made out of fire in a house that's not mine. I mean, uh, would you even do that in your house? No, I wouldn't. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is a yeah. That is a miss. You said it's your armor cost is 17. Yeah. If he realizes that the spell failed, he also would probably intentionally miss. Just for the point, um, because I only rolled a 15 total. <laughs> okay. As he goes, like, to stab it. If Nash wants, like, he could. I, we don't have any code words, but they might have like a fr feign fight sort of like code or whatever you want to say. Like, like he's supposed to take a swing and you catch it or whatever. I don't know. Loaded dice. Yeah. To call out loaded dice, just like yeah. in, in Road to El Dorado. <laughs> that no performance that they give. Oh my gosh, he had loaded dice. Like, yeah. I don't know this man. Yeah, that, yeah. that sort of thing. Uh, no loaded dice, right, is what Nat Boston will say as he ignites the knife. <laughs> I mean, Nash is just ready for this. Um, You're ready to get stabbed? Is he, will you just let him hit you? Are you not going to dodge it? <laughs> I, I mean... I mean, he's standing there. It's essentially being prone. Oh, then I get advantage. Being prone, but yeah. Well, he's letting you. You're allowing him, right? This is a setup for the kids, right? Performance? Yeah, this, 
the idea was to show the kids how this works. Um, okay, so it's essentially like, I would, I would, the I would then play along. people that are in their house right now. I, so since you're allowing it, I would say get advantage like being prone. Oh since no! Since it's, it's a display. <laughs> Is that a nat twenty? <laughs> Nice. Oh, oh no. That's going to hurt. Because <laughs> you're not raging. It's oh, fine. no. Oh, it's the di full damage die, then we roll a second one, right? That's what we do? Yes. Okay. Oh, no, it's oh, double. It's... Oh, okay. It's a full damage, or... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, full damage, and then another dial. I forgot, okay. sorry. That's 14 points of fi fire damage. Okay. And I just rolled it again, I got the same thing. <laughs> Oh wait, no! It since it's ignited. Oh no! I gotta. Please I guess we'll just take that one. Yourselves in my fucking so house when you're that... supposed to be putting on clothes that my family For had loaned you. Piercing damage. <laughs> that was eleven plus three. That's fourteen, and then eleven plus two. That's that's a total of twenty twenty five points of damage. <laughs> just... Okay, so is it eleven plus two and eleven plus three? Yes. Okay, that's twenty seven. 27. Sorry, brain. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. I'm st I am still got a, a heap of health. We're good. Um, oh, but it's still... Nash is just gonna <laughs> full arm get stabbed here in front of the children. <laughs> no, she, like... The kids are watching enthralled, like, whoa! Um, Boston um... will pull it out and say, fuck, and just whisper, fuck, sorry, and then he'll... Um, he'll say a prayer, tap his chest, and do lay on hands to fill in that, that HP. Trick, that trick apparently needs a little bit more work, but yeah, right, it's, you it's can fine. See the but potential yeah. there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you heal him for um, all of it. I have thirty lay oh, on okay. hands. I, I do twenty-seven. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, so the kids watch as you s calmly, uh, collectively step, stab my up, best friend, but stab your buddy in the chest, bear. Um, and then pull it out, and there's this this hole that is is bubbling and boiling and and melting um, whatever parts was it just straight, straight up chest? It so would have like, aimed up here, so I'm not puncturing his lung. <laughs> yeah. Even still, that would have repaired once you started healing it. But yes, yeah, um, but, <laughs> I don't. Oh, I can do that. No, you can't, kid. But no, you can't. <laughs> and part of it, you know, like being uh, being that it's so hot, part of it is uh, was um, cauterized, cauterized. But then having it just kind of shrink back and and we re uh, absorb itself into a closure after you heal it, and the kids are just absolutely whoa! That is cool. How do you and do that? Faith, and um, he's gonna wink, throw a thaumaturgy for sparkly eyes, and go uh, change. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do this in the hall or one of your guys' uh, guest bedrooms? Probably the hall. Probably okay. The hall. Yeah, it's probably not in the room that he's changing with the kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, he's okay. right, though. I mean, the, the, that pot wasn't faith, it? but uh, this, and he'll sh display a lay on hands without actually, like, casting the things. This is from Faith, and he'll, again, show the holy pendant. Okay, and as your hand glows, um, the the color of your skin brightens and there's a essential uh, halo around it. And the kids vibrantly see that there is um, an effect and they're like, so you just believe and it happens. And the kids are a little still demystified, like, yeah, demystified in that. Like, is this, this is how this works, but no, they're uh, trying, I, I guess. Personally, like it's different for everyone. He gets different tricks than I do for differences in faith. Uh, me personally, I use, and he'll take out his very tired looking Bible, basically. I memorize these, and they give me strength. Um, and I'm able to cast certain things, like what he was trying to do. Um, and unfortunately, it he's, he's still working on it a little bit. <laughs> Nash is going to pop his head out. Uh, I'm going to say there's sunglasses in whatever uh, setup we've got. With sunglasses on, um, a little bit of the suit still on. We're on a mission from God. <laughs> we are. No, please stop. <laughs> Gonna come out like fixing my tie, like. <laughs> Thanks, Gwen. Um, but actually, he he is he is an example. That's how I do it. He does it differently because our relationship to who we believe in 
gives us different abilities. I mean, it's the same thing with types of magic, right? You study a certain type of magic, you get that specific mastery in that field. Well, yeah. And then they turn and they're like, this is what we do. And so they start, uh, they put their hands together um, and then they start making a chant and then they do the sum uh, positions and they each pull out an in, uh, a material component, mm -hmm. a feather and then some incense and then um, put them together and then um, they show basically it would be a um, prestidigitation of a bird and it's um you know physical mm -hmm. but it's not the same as what fen had yeah. um but this and it, it just chirps and moves around and it has a presence to it and then phew, dissipates that's pretty cool i can't do that but i can do this and um i'm going to cast guidance on the more rambunctious of the twins <laughs> Ambunctious or rambunctious? Rambunctious. <laughs> God, I don't know who that one is, but we'll just say it's... We'll say it's Ziv. I, I Ziv and says, you have about a minute, you'll have a little extra luck next time you try to do something that may be a bit challenging. The kid's eyes go wide. Go! Quickly! <laughs> <laughs> I ushered them away so I can go change. <laughs> they look at each other and they're like, ooh, and they have an idea and they run off. Oh, no. This house is going to be on fire and it's not my fault. <laughs> Boston says taking a cigarette and going into his bedroom. Can someone follow change. them with a the camera? <laughs> <laughs> I want to uh, see what this is. Like, those eyes looked mischievous. Oh, 100%. The, they were 100%. You, you, you imagine. You the bombs were toddler. You imagine that there was something they were trying to do earlier this evening. They think that they can now pull it off. An extra D4 really matters. <laughs> <laughs> so they're about to go try it again. <laughs> Good luck. If they put firecrackers in the turkey, though, I'll be pissed. <laughs> don't wait. Oh, no, you don't mess with mom's cooking. This dinner is too fancy for turkey. You're right. I, I'm get one. So what? I'm having like it's a goose. It's <laughs> Jadurkin is even that fancy. Hot take. It's not even that uh, fancy. No, it's no, I know that's not. It was a full no, joke. It was a full, is on, full joke. on redneck. <laughs> it's fancier. I mean, it's anyways. Deep <laughs> anyways, so uh, Fen, Ramita, you guys get dressed. Um, do you guys want to give a brief description of the clothing you've chosen for the night, or just a fancier? Um. I will, because this okay. is gonna. So, since it kind of came from the twins' wardrobe a little bit, I feel like mm -hmm. some of it's gonna be kind of colorful. Yeah. In ways. So, Granny's gonna come out with like a mismatched suit top and pants, like polka dot type stuff and stripes. Somehow. Yeah, no, like, they didn't. They like, didn't. <laughs> they don't There's no way they that. gave you anything like that. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say like a polka dot shirt and like pants and then like a crazy tie. Um, if anything, so you're wearing a, a polka dot blouse of blue and uh, a blue tie and then um, some nice uh, dress pants. Some blue dress pants okay. and some nice loafers that are a navy blue. Oh no, I'm still wearing my boots <laughs> on top of it. Okay. So, still wearing the boots, but everything else has changed. But it doesn't match. Is really nope. what I'm trying to get. That it matches. It matches. They gave you suits. It all they matches. All very mono. It, it's <laughs> all very. You can mix and match everything. I couldn't can, like. There's yeah. no. They, they, they. It was a fail safe because it's in your closet and they gave it to you. So they're like, <laughs> no matter what shirt or pants or skirt or dress combo that you chose, it's going to look nice. Drat. Okay. Except for the well, I was gonna say it still looks nice, just drop. kind of eccentric. <laughs> oh, it eccentric is good in this household. So like, you didn't miss. I'm sorry, the, you, you didn't miss in this one. This okay. is like well, Granny chose bright colors and for the first time has their hair like pulled back in a plate. Okay, the mess has been tamed and <laughs> some dirt has been wiped away. And the same goes for Boston and Nash, your guys' closets of the combinations that you get. Um, it's in the Auroran style. It's in this family, this 
at Sith style. Um, and no matter what combination you pick, you can't go wrong. I I just take to take a blue suit and maybe he'll pull out some cufflinks or something like that he might have had in his possession because I imagine Father Anderson for like the equivalent of Christmas probably gave him some like Lathander cufflinks like everyone got something like that. Mm-hmm. And if he had an extra pair, he actually wouldn't act, knock on Ash's door. <clears throat> hey, uh, Nash, you good? <laughs> I mean, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, yeah. It- we're good. Not the first time I've been stabbed. True, true, true. But first time I probably stabbed you. Actually, no, I shot you. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, you did shoot me, um, which did hurt worse than stabbing, for the record. Yeah. Yeah, and you also did rip into my throat a little bit. <laughs> Hallucinogenics will do uh, a lot to you. Um, yeah, but I wasn't here just to check up on you. I also wanted to give you these as a uh, welcome to the fold sort of thing. And it's a little box with Lysander, like, rising sun cufflinks, basically. Father Anderson used to give him out every uh, winter crest, and I had an extra pair. Um, Nash is gonna hug Boston. <laughs> just, uh, get, he, he doesn't have words, so he's just he's, he's wrapping up Boston real quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boston gets no him choice. He's getting, he's getting <laughs> hugged. <laughs> Oh, that's that's nice. Karen's <laughs> um, gonna be like, "You guys are so so sweet." Uh, <laughs> nice. uh, and uh, then you come into the hallway as this is happening. <laughs> and I was just like, "This is nice." <laughs> you got the one hand up, the other hand, like okay. still holding the box to the side. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> um. Nash, I think, is wearing, uh, it, it starts, um, with the base of a, uh, well, this is North. Um, well, no, that's not the Aurora in style. Never mind. Um, there's either tight fitting or loose and flowy for Aurora. And so, like, <laughs> I was going slightly, uh, it, it's, it's not farther off from what your professor like war um in in that it's like that dark blue more of a suit style um but it's got a lot more um gold leaf um to it and in fact it's got um uh, i have a picture i'm i'm not good with fashion words so um it's fine the family does either um very uh, intricate um prints um, with uh, solids or uh, patterned uh, embroidery with um, it's like honestly right in between what Ben shared earlier um, actually um, okay. so I think it will yeah, fit yeah, yeah. pretty perfectly so something that, um, that very easily could have been found somewhere within the house yeah yeah uh, it might have um, they might have raided the older brothers uh, closets and, so, and brought uh, something to you I it would have to be well tailored to get to Nash's size because Nash is much taller. <laughs> Nash is about uh, pretty close to seven feet tall at this point, right? Like, yeah. Um, You'll notice that the older brother, while not as tall as Nash, does uh, have the broad shoulders that maybe if the twins raided his closet, um, there might be an item or two that could fit Nash, though the pants are probably custom or. Um, yeah, um, but it's brought in. And, yeah, um, it's definitely a, a, a feel, a store bought feel, less uh, custom tailored feel. Gotcha. I've got so. OK, so he. Whoa. Oh, that's sorry. Yeah, I was like, I uh, uh, <laughs> just right around, like, uh, because uh, I was uh, navigating uh, around uh, in Discord and I forgot that that's a problem. It's fine. Um, sorry, stream. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, it's. It's time for us to go to break, so like, um, if you want to say a few words and then we'll come back with it fixed, that'd be great. Uh, it's already fixed. Um, oh, okay. I I didn't know. Yeah. No, it's a <sighs> it's a one click fix for me. Um, I just have to bring the okay. screen back to the front. Um, okay. So we can still go to break, but it's fixed. Uh, okay. But uh, I was giving you that out. Just nope. You're good. Um, so yeah, Nash. I finally found the words for what Nash Nash has. Uh, it's a gold paisley on top of the dark blue. 
Um, nice. And uh, then he's got. Uh, uh, there's also, I think, like a what I would consider a quarter cape. There's probably a word for it, but it's there's there's like a a long collar in the back that is also gold that only reaches to like mm-hmm. the bottom of his shoulder blades. It's very short, sure. but it gives that cape like impression. Which seems to yeah. be a very big thing in Auroran. Yes. That's something that I noticed in a lot of the photos, so I wanted to incorporate that, and Nash would for sure uh, not get anything super long because mobility is important. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But he would still It's, it's what was fail- available in the closet, so yeah, it's definitely within the realm of, of what everyone has. Um, but let's do go to break, and uh, we will return with the return of everyone to the dinner table and see what happens after that. Sounds good. But Fen's we'll, wearing doesn't matter. It's fine. We'll be right. We'll reveal <laughs> Fen, Fen like the protagonist of the movie Fen is in currently. Uh, you can have a no. staircase moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, we'll return with Fen's staircase moment in a little bit. See y'all. <laughs> Yay! <clears throat> spookity, spookity. We're in the spooky season, y'all. You know what that means? Yeah, that's right. More breaking character. I hope you got your snacks and your bathroom break out of the way, because we got more crazy action coming at ya. And that's an emphasis on the crazy, because none of us are right in the head. Now help me welcome the cast and crew. Breaking character. It's weird that that monster <laughs> truck announcer invaded my house this time. Oh, was it? Was Hi. that what he was? I, I thought it was your brother. From the camera. <laughs> no, my brother. Hello, everyone. Much that good. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, we are done with the snackies. Um. <laughs> And we're going to join in with uh, finding out what Fen has decided to wear now, knowing that this is an engagement party um, for their they actually look nice. It's fine. Older, older, oldest brother, uh, Harad. Um, uh, as, yeah, so as the group rejoins. <laughs> Fen's wearing a like really, really loose kind of flowy shirt that has like uh kind of like waves of different darker colors kind of bend through it. Um, and then a very, I don't want to say low cut, but it like clasps together just above their belly button. So like very deep V uh, mm-hmm. vest over top of it. That is more tight and form fitting. That kind of flares down into a gathering of uh, very wavy fabrics kind of like going down to like their knee a little bit uh, Mm. on half of it and then holding up tight to just where their waist sits on the other side. The living room? As well as uh, tartar fitting pants and just like black formal shoes with a sort of a shoulder cape thing, you know, like the shoulder flare, where it's attached here and then it goes on back of this like shimmery, cool looking, but not feeling fabric that kind of like, once again, shifts through different colors in different lights. Okay. And then like the random assortment of like odd decorations that come with being at Sith. (laughs) And their hair is... Tied up. Their hair least. is actually uh, down for once, but um, pinned back by things on their ear, so it's not in their face. Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, Boston is, for the first time is actually going to shave like his five o'clock shadow. <laughs> Ooh, is this a a like like uh, completely cleanly shaven? Like he he shaved. Brendan like, Fraser, the mummy reveal. <laughs> To give context, Boston is one of those people that cannot grow a physical beard. His hair just does not get long enough. Nobody. Um, but he can like go out for a week or so, and it'll just be mostly stubble. So like it's been a couple of weeks, and he's kind of got some decent like length of stubble, 
but it's like and so he's actually just shaving it because he's like eh, this is a formal event why not <laughs> Nash will ask uh, ask Baldrick to um, trim back his, his pompadour uh, and, and get it back into fighting shape uh, not actually fighting shape but, um, but clean it up make it look nice yeah Eat. Baldrick pulls away and your hair looks like a boxer. Just it's in fighting shape, right? No, it's not. No, Baldrick, that's not what I meant. No, Nash will, <laughs> Nash will specifically ask um, for the pompadour. He he knows what to ask. His, uh, it's it, This is important. Okay. All right, and you guys reconvene as you uh, enter the dining area and uh, Mother comes up and goes, I'm so sorry. We have not introduced everyone, please. Um, everyone, this is um, Fenrana's pink friends. Friends. Yes, uh, friends. This is uh, Boston. This is Nash. And she goes through um, all of the introductions and then uh, introduces... This is my son, Harad, as you all know, is now engaged to Solana Vamir. And um, we are so happy to have her a part of the family. And this is uh, my second eldest, um, Kessler. And then, of course, you've met Fen and then the twins, twins! And the kids uh, come running up and uh, show that... You've you've met them. Um, excuse me, <laughs> the bubbles have gotten to me tonight. Um, but yes, uh, please, everyone, dinner is ready. Let's let's get to uh, let's shall we eat? And everyone has their uh, sorted uh, little names in front of their plates. You all are on one side of the table. The rest of the family is on the other. Father is at one end. Mother is at the other end. Um, and then Roderick is running around. Um, and yes, there is a place setting for Baldrick, um, uh, who is who is <laughs> not eating, but um, is being treated as a guest rather than um, expected to work the way Roderick is running around, uh, filling drinks and catering to. Oh, uh -oh. boy. Oh, no. I'm sure she'll be back. Um. Wait, okay. Do we okay. know what happened? It's fine. There she is. What's <laughs> yeah, we're just slightly mixed up till that. There we go. So, um, fine. So, um, she sits down and, um, takes her glass and, remember, this will be my last. <laughs> um, mm. and, uh, because they start talking about, uh, how Solana met um, Kessler and inter you know interviewing of you know what she's up to, what she does, and how they met, what's you know classes they took and when, because the the mystery of how they never met prior to the internship um, must be revealed because it's the most fascinating thing right now. Um, <laughs> Um, what are you all doing during this this uh, meal and conversation? Uh, I'm talking to Kess. <laughs> okay. So, how's your project? Uh, almost to completion. Um, you know that he's been working on a bridge called the Harmony Bridge. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a, uh, a type of monument um, bridge to uh, represent... Um, coming together of certain classes and events and uh, dedication. It's a historical thing and it's been working on, he's been working on it for some time and it's been something that um, he started working on as an intern, his second internship and is now um, getting to completion under his own name. Um, and uh, which is a big thing because a lot of times interns don't get as much credit um, as, as graduates do. Yeah. Um, but because he's been a part of it through many different levels, it's now become his. Um, and uh, Solana, who uh, 
they met she's worked on a number a number of different things um her first internship was uh with um harad on this project but she has since branched out to others including a little, spending a little time because uh, i thought mom was talking to harad huh i was talking to kessler Oh, I thought you were talking to Harad. No, I, was, I figured Mom was bothering Harad and... Uh, oh, right, 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 right. Well, so. this is what you guys are hearing. This is okay, what... So. <laughs> I'm hearing this. <laughs> You're hearing it in the background. Um, uh, Solana has worked a little bit on the, the nautical as well. Um, Kessler. Okay. Kess is the one um, who... Uh, right. He's been working mom. on the nautical as well. Um, doing oh, the gardening uh, and biotechnical aspects of the hydro uh, hydroponic gardens um making sure that they're sus sustainable for a population of uh the beginning of 50,000 to the growth of potentially 2 million <sighs> it's uh an endeavor <laughs> no doubt and how is how has it been living on the ocean um, <laughs> tricky. <laughs> tricky. It's um yes. Uh, having uh, it's not home. Uh, for sure. It's um well getting closer to completion. It's it's more livable and uh, but trying to maintain the standards as well as uh, going through the expectations and trying to meet um. The deadline. Uh, it's it's complicated. Yeah, and strange. <laughs> um, the bathrooms a little weird. Um, oh, it's so, out. Yes. Um, knowing that it's going somewhere within the area and being recycled is strange. <laughs> Well, uh, you know. And you know that that's a good portion of what he was involved in, of taking the waste and trying to that, recycle that it. Actually being a, directly a part of that. <laughs> Thinking, think astronaut type of situation of like, we're, we're, we could pollute the ocean with our feces, um, but we're going to try not to because <laughs> we want to observe it in its natural state. And if and any interaction, you know, trying not to to disturb the area as the observer. Which is the yeah. main focus of a lot of research, of trying not to be... Um, and so if they, they pollute with their feces trying to observe, then they... How things interact. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is uh, the main focus of his, his side of the project, um, in addition to making sure that, uh, that everyone receives the nutrients and the quality doesn't decline. Um, it's, it's good to be home. It's solid land, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> it is. Um, I never thought in such a large um, floating castle, as it were, um, that I would have sea legs and coming back for after so many months, get a little woozy here and there, not it's not a floating. And weave on the waves, wouldn't it? Just to make sure it does it stay stable. It does, and it's very, um, it's, how do I describe it? An illusion as to how stable it is. When you get on, you think it's similar to being on land, but then, um, after a while, I, I, I feel very different. I find myself trying to calculate and adjust when there is no need, um, <laughs> Uh, I was a little woozy for a couple of days. I am so coming very back. Tempted to watch you walk and then just like push you over. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's definitely. That's it's. <laughs> um, you imagine that that some some of that happened on the on the uh, Nautilus, mm -hmm. uh, nautical. Um, yeah. I I don't doubt you wouldn't. Um, I the twin, twins have already tried. Oh, I don't doubt. Yes. Um, was that what they were doing earlier? No, not. Um, but I, I, I feel like um, they've. Well, 
I'm going to keep quiet and see if anyone notices. Did you already figure out what they've done? I know, I know what something. I know what they tried to do, and considering how uh, how giddy they are, um, they've been the last fifteen minutes. I think they succeeded, um, but um, I think we'll find out. The problem of that, <laughs> really. Uh, entertaining children oftentimes ends in them being met more chaotic. Did oh, Fen watch that happen, or did you just hear us outside? <laughs> Oh, I mean, our rooms are next to each other. Yeah. So you, there's, you heard next to each other and oh, somewhere down the hall. <laughs> Although Fen's room is Fen's room right next to the uh, guest room because the guest rooms are definitely next to each other. Oh, that's true. So they have the four there, and then I figured uh -huh. that Fen's room was like that one because uh, Fen all uh, wanted one that had like a view outside. Okay. And okay. So yep. That, so that one there. So Fen's room is technically a, a former guest room. Got it. Technically. Um, okay, so yeah, no, Chen definitely picked up on some of that. Just Either visually a bo or audibly. Boston chuckle as he's just enjoying probably his snails or something equivalent. <laughs> there are some. There's there's more. It's more ost oysters. <laughs> okay, yeah. You get those in caves. Um, yeah, he knows what an oyster is. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't don't Tony's eat visceral reaction down there. Don't don't eat uh, <laughs> underwater oyster like, under cave oyster. Uh. Don't eat oysters under caves. Correct. You will be crushed by rocks. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, oysters other places though. It's fine. They're yummy. Right. Um. Yeah. There's there's a lot of seafood, but there's also a lot of land food. You know. There's definitely mm. steaks. Um. A good mixture. Yes, very much a good mixture. Um, is it from sea cow? <laughs> um, and there's also a lot That's of uh, vegetarian um, options as well. Um, it's a very it's a variety of food. Um, and uh, so, yeah, Kessler is relaying to you uh, the trials and tribulations of the details of his work. And... Um, of course, you know, co-worker problems of, of people being brash and obscene and egotistical and assuming all of all of the bullshit that comes with that. Yeah, yeah. Especially with him being stuck in close quarters with these people for months on end. <laughs> and then some of them who have been out on their own and some of them who have, you know, uh, I want to say... Um, Disgruntles with the family name, jealousy, envy, that sort of thing. Um, what else is is going on? Is anybody doing anything different or of note? Just watching the Yarnie's interactions here. <laughs> Your um, pushing her sleeves up to eat, like <laughs> forearm style. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um. <laughs> Boston, since you're observing, roll an insight or a perception. I don't really just got to up his perception. Because <laughs> it is like plus one. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, it's too late. It's fine. Ten. Ten? Ten. Um, it, yeah, this is a family dinner. Feeding. Yeah. This is a family dinner. This is, um, this is something you think you probably should have had this is something you 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 missed out on and it's weird but also oddly comforting he i will say he will try to focus primarily on how dad is responding is dad interacting the conversation at all is he keeping quiet but like he's just specifically um anytime you've no noticed you looked at dad um in relation to uh, the family members as well, there's a hint of rekindling um, this this new wave of of fresh love has reminded him, um, you know, moments of his wife when they met, and and um, he often dreamily looks at his own wife. Uh, as she's talking and laughing and, and talking to her her children and new uh, daughter-in-law, or soon-to-be daughter-in-law. Um, 
So there are moments where he's just let this woman get away. <laughs> yeah, there's there's moments of of dreamily watching her as she does her thing. Um, now <sighs> she's probably gonna start up a conversation with. So like, the the mom is very much talking with uh, the newly engaged brother, right? Yes. Um, and Laura and all that. It, Maybe, but it's it's super easy in those scenarios for like the newly engaged family member to slightly get left out in all the storytelling. Yeah. Um, so if there isn't an opening um, for Nash to uh, learn more about this this new person, um, he, he may ask some questions. If the, if that is not an opening, then he will not be taking it obviously. But. To Nash's point, how are we seated? Because you said we're on one side, the family's on the other side. Like, what's exactly the positioning? Is Finn at the head closest to the dad? And then, That's like, up how to you they... guys. Where do you guys oh. want to sit? Because, um, yeah, literally, it's just family on one side, guests on the other. So you guys are across from individual mm -hmm. family members. Um, dad on one side and mom on the other side. And I think as it goes with family in this sort of formal sitting, you have the oldest son next to the father and the oldest daughter next to the mother, which would mm -hmm. be the, the one of the twins who is currently going by she, her. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got um, the, son the sons lining up on the other end, aside with yeah. the father and then the, yeah. Except for the space between the oldest son and the, and the second oldest with uh, being the new engaged wife in between. So father new daughter-in-law uh father son new daughter-in-law second son twin twin mom how would fen actually boss would have asked how do you want us to sit <laughs> wherever you'd like I that's mean, not helpful <laughs> so we're gonna assume that feel comfortable with <laughs> beyond where we you gotta realize Fen this is like, literally Boston is experiencing this as like we're dealing with a mob family and he needs to make sure nothing goes wrong because if one thing goes out of line here we're kicked out and you're disowned which is not ideal for anyone <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> considering that Finn is having com a, a conversation with Kessler we can definitely safely assume they're either sitting um, across, across them or, or diagonally next to dad um, okay and then um, whoever wants to sit across from the twins and next to the mother. Um, so it could be if, if Nash wants to ch kind of have a conversation with um, new daughter-in-law, he would be sitting across from her. Okay. And then we could do like Boston the and then Ramita. Yeah. And then Granny's not paying attention to anything but the food in front of her face. <laughs> She's like, no, no, no. No, oh, no, no. Yeah, Honestly, just like so would be excited, with you if he wasn't so just curious about this. She hasn't been in a while. She's been um, in families. It's nice to be back in that setting, but it's like okay. making her comfortable to the point where she's just um, doubling. Uh, you notice nobody's really paying attention to how you're eating. Um, there's not been a single look of like, oh my gosh, look at this person stuff their face. Not a single one. Um, the kids are actually kind of keeping up with you. Um, they're when they're, they're the twins are gremlins. They are, um, and being that this is a special occasion, they're actually because you know things are are actually less formal as you might think in a normal situation. So like anything is is it's relaxed. It's oddly more relaxed than it normally you that was this morning. Um, so like the kids are also stuffing their face. The kids are also grabbing everything with two hands instead of being politely please pass the you know like they were this morning. Um, that's the atmosphere of, of what's going on. So things are, um, ironically, the opposite of what you might expect in a formal very uh, setting. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Um, by the way, if I notice that any, uh, any of my friends are like feeling uncomfortable, I will... Do you need anything? Can I help you with anything? I know this is weird. I'm so sorry. Actually, I was curious to see how Nash has conversation with uh, the group, the bride to be. <laughs> um, she is um one of a few things. There are times where she is also giddy with alcohol, um, giddy in love. Um, 
joining in with the conversation of she's half talking over her her partner but also like interjecting and, and completing his sentences um but there are times where she's <laughs> huh yeah Herodric is definitely not words. that's one thing you all notice is if Herodric is actually rather quiet the end of the same. huh uh, sorry Herod sorry uh I I changed my notes I did have that as as his but Herod <laughs> is actually oddly quiet Remember, um but only it's... oddly quiet it's season two where he gets blown to bits and we have to rebuild him with Roderick's pieces that he becomes a Roderick. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, yeah, Roderick and Harad become one. <laughs> um, ha, yeah, Harad is, is... In this family, seems to be the one with the few words. Strangely enough. Um, I'm going to say after this dinner probably goes on like this for another 20, 30 minutes. Uh, Roderick is cleaning up the table with an aid of a secondary bot and getting de dessert ready. And at this point, I want everyone to roll insight. Uh -oh. um, Nash is going to try to figure out what the timeline is for them meeting because he doesn't know any of this. Um, uh, by the way. Uh -huh. Like, he doesn't know when the graduation for Harad was and all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to glean that from that original conversation, by the way. Um, which is part I get to uh, do a, either... Um, I'll let you call it wisdom or, or intellect. Because, like, there's he, wisdom he would, he would and then there's... Straight up of, like, so what is that? Oh, okay. Timeline? It's not something that he's trying to, like... I thought yeah. you were like intuitively trying to put things together as they're no, talking. He, that's why he. Okay. One of the reasons why he wants to talk to the. Oh no! The absolutely, you can definitely interject in the conversation to ask, oh. and she'll, she or Harad, um, well, probably more like she, um, Solana will will say, you know, she's um, she's younger. Uh, he was a part of the project for a little bit before she uh, joined. Um, Harad was an intern. Um, for this project for a couple years. She was only part of it for a couple months. Um, so the graduation was a few years apart. Um, they they did not they went to the same school but and took some of the similar classes, but they only met during the internship. So they met like three years ago? Is that I'm Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm Roughly, trying to yes. figure out Sorry. some of that. I was getting to it. I was getting to it. I was getting to it. Um, he's tr he's 29. She's 26. Okay. Okay. Um, and then Nash will ask about her family because apparently that's super important around here. Um, um and if she is she... from the area and that sort of stuff, just b basic things to kind of get a gauge on who this person is. Yeah. No. Is. Shh. She is, she's from the area, she's an Auroran, her family's Auroran, um, she is one of the, you could say, first of hers that does, um, the, the work that she's doing, um, uh, which is architecture related, but she's not into architecture itself, um, her family, you could say, is a little more, um, I guess, humble beginnings type of thing, um, some of them are teachers, some of them are lawyers in the, um, Auroran, um, community. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, they're not from Roran. They're from Ithros. They're from Ithros? Her, Ithros. Yes, her... Right? So was she one yeah. of these No, 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 no. sorry. Sorry, sister, sorry, 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 no, 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 no. I was confusing her with someone else, sorry. She's from Auroran. Her family's from Auroran. Um, she's not one of those scholarship kids. Um, her family... Let's see, her mother was a doctor... And her father is in Charney, ish. So, um, good and established, but she's in architecture. Okay. Um, her father, I guess, because of the community, the way Aurora is, is situated, you would consider, consider her to be like a uh, defense attorney, the kind that get assigned to you. A public defender? That. Yes, exactly. Um, which is admirable, and, and, you know, she talks about that. Um, 
a fine. And um, a little embarrassed, she could say, because she's branched out to something that the family doesn't um, normally do, typically. Can't imagine what that's like. <laughs> nothing wrong with finding new branches. I say very um, snarkily. <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, if Granny was listening, like, she'd have so much to say about that. It'd be like, what's the point of all being in the same branch? You're currently enjoying the crab puffs at the moment, though. You got a lot of four inside your mouth <laughs> trying to see if you can get all the crab puffs. Taste. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Those are competition with the twins. How many can you down <laughs> in one sitting? <laughs> yeah, we're just watching each other, just like slowly putting more in. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're trying to say chubby bunny, but with. Cheddar yeah. bacon, uh, Picara puffs. They're, they're telling you all about the different sauces and different, you know, you can dip it in this and the ketchup and the ranch and the, the horseradish and the Worcestershire sauce. And they're just like, try all the of this. And... are ha having a, the greatest time with Ramita. <laughs> yeah. It, it makes um, sense. So, yeah, that you get all that information for, from Solana, and she is, you know, more than welcome to, uh, more than happy to share, out, share it. She's very happy with her family, very proud of uh, where she came from and um, extremely giddy with her her love for her her new partner her her current partner new status um, um before back to I the this, you wanted an in insight check from everybody I was getting to that yes uh, insight or perspective or perception sorry insight or perception for me. yeah it was the same for me it's a 21 <laughs> for me perception 17. Sec. I got I got the lowest of the uh, with the uh 16. 16. 16. Let's go, buddy. Hey. Um 16 is great. Anything above 16 is wonderful. Um as you as the table is cleared, the dishes are, are cleaned, everyone is getting their after dinner drinks, coffee for mom and and essential uh equivalents for everyone else, tea. Um, and the desserts are brought out. Um, you'll notice a plate of warm cookies that reach the table that cause the kids to get a little giddy. I, if I'm anywhere close to them, I lean over. So what did you slip in them? You'll have to do this with stealth because mom is right next oh, to absolutely. is in between the two of you. Mm-hmm. If you don't want mom to notice. <laughs> we could just do the mind thing. I'm sure they are. They aware of your mind thing. They are aware of my mind thing. I'll pop into. Okay. The, um, <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> you. I'll pop into Zim's head. So okay. What do you do to him? Nothing. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Nothing terrible. I'm judging. What did you do? Um. We seasoned them. I'm a pop into in turn each of my friends. The cookies are a little bit spiked. I don't know what with. Boss has already grabbed like three of them because he, he, he cookies are the one dessert he recognizes. <laughs> oh, yeah, Granny was definitely reaching for those two, like immediately, even noticing the kids, just like still grabbing them, just kind of hesitantly. <laughs> yeah, there's there's cookies, there's tiramisu. Um, yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so that idea is so that good. <laughs> Anyways. You just came over to six hours ago. He has no idea what tiramisu is. <laughs> <laughs> Betty's definitely grabbing the tiramisu. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, <laughs> Your name's got a little bit <laughs> of everything. <laughs> Again. Uh, I know what I, the kids, the, the twins have their own plates of, of a lot of things, but they do not have any cookies. Um, mother, father. Actually, you know what? Let me roll. See how many, how many. I will say I'm immune to. Po I, uh, I think is it the poison or diseases rise of right now? Let me check. Uh, and traits. I mean, I rolled a d6. Made sure you know it wasn't like anything dangerous, but they did something to the cookies. <laughs> well, if we need to make any saving throws, because we're all within ten feet of each other, we do get plus two to our saving throws. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. Oh god. Okay. Um Kessler's the only one that doesn't get any cookies. Of course. Um besides the twins. I love um, across the, uh, the table. This is Ethan. <laughs> not poison. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he's just he's looking at you like 
shaking it like <laughs> not saying a word. Like I I I, I thought maybe and then I I'm very much um, as soon as the family members and the new uh addition take a few bites and who else is biting into their cookie? Maria Mita and Boston? Yeah. Nash, you didn't say what you were getting. Nash will hold off. He'll take if if he would have taken one, but he's probably looking at the fruit tray or whatever. But he'll he's one of those type of people. If it's a cookie, he just just toss it in his mouth and just eats the entire thing. It's not a bite. He oh my God. he'll eat it whole. Wait. Or the kind of person who crumbles it into and then just drinks it in milk. Like, whoa! whoa, whoa. So, Are you trying to tell me how Nash is eating cookies? No, Boston. Oh, Boston okay. eats cookies like that. Um, <laughs> Gears asked what Nash was doing. Well, you asked. Yeah, but you said no, and Boston will continue, and oh, Brett okay. continue to describe what yeah, Boston was doing. I missed that portion, apparently. <laughs> I was um, like, sir. Is that what Boston's doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we have, an, we have a, autonomy over our own characters. We know this. Um, so many mixed reactions, but they're all just the same pure shock, and oh, my goodness. Um, the cookies. Uh, what looks like the equivalent of like snickerdoodles um, or, or sugar cookies have a the, the, the powdery top. Uh, the brown is a rather intense spice and the white is not sugar but salt. So you have a sense of burning, spicy, Salty cookies. Do we make a that... con saving throw to see how we respond, or like do <laughs> we throw up? Wished, if you want, um, to see if you can contain your reaction, just you know, hide it or whatnot. Plus but seven. it Here is we go. you're expecting a sweet sugar snickerdoodle equivalent, and these are spicy, sour, salty, and it is ugh, nasty. I'll take a twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're able. You're able to. Work? A constitution to see how you react. You get a plus um, three, um, being next to me. We'll say okay. less than a twelve, 14. and you're you're tempted to throw up, or at least spit it back Nine, out. Fourteen. He just and you said plus three. Yeah, plus three. Plus three. Okay, so I got a seventeen. Okay, so Granny's just gonna continue eating it. Yeah. Just, yeah. Mm. 17, 24, you guys continue eating it. Fen, I'm assuming you did not bite into. Oh no, I had tiramisu and now I'm cackling. <laughs> <laughs> the twins are rolling, almost falling off their chairs as both Selena and Ke uh, Harad, dad and mom, are just like, bleh, bleh. <laughs> and depending on the drink that they're drinking before, just made it even worse. The coffee is now oh, no. the <laughs> most bitter thing. Oh, no. And everything is just oh blah blah, and the kids are just cackling, and Dad is like Siv Siv, and the kids get up and just run, <laughs> <laughs> laughing all the way to their rooms because they know they need to. That's where they're headed. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, that's why he just drinks this the is drinks good, the water. Right? <laughs> that's not what they're supposed to be. Oh, I'm gonna reach for another one. <laughs> Boss is not that brave. <laughs> just like <laughs> I've had uh, less. Boston, con considering you just like down the cookie by yourself, it's an afterburn. <laughs> A little bit of like heartburn later. Oh no. Uh huh. Yeah, it comes back at you. He just exhales, and like, you see like the paprika, whatever's on his nose, <laughs> just going to mess um Kessler just like he does his own laughing and grinning and and um Harad is coughing and sneezing and so is Selena she's like choking and Boston will <laughs> will take if there's like a pitcher of water like pour them both glasses of water because <laughs> I'm sure there's like oh, a thousand Roderick cups has, on this plate Roderick has beaten you to it there's water there's milk there's he's he's already scanned them and figured out what's what happened um, and has promptly removed the cookies. Um, <laughs> I gotta have this recipe when you're done. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you can um, them and they will tell you. <laughs> Mother's eyes are watering. Enemy, dude, that you have. Um, you okay, this Laura? <laughs> Sorry about this. This is. 
I'm sorry. I am an only child. This is this is different. Is this normal? <laughs> I look at Cass oh, and start like, nodding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cass cannot respond. Um, is, he on his, is, is he on the floor just laughing? <laughs> no, no. He's just he's half like trying he's not to trying give away to that he knew, in. but also trying like yeah. He, he's trying to read the room and, and play along with everything. Um, Harad is like it is, it is normal for this family, um, but it's just not like a normal. Haven't done any fun, fun things either, Harad. <laughs> I, I have had downstairs of you shoving me in the pool. <laughs> does he? Does does Fen say this at the table? Yes. Oh shit! That's the picture I wanted you guys to see. Boston starts just drinking his glass, just extra long, just chugging, just. <laughs> Parad says that is um, that is a fact, um, and Selena l- turns and I grabs his. Oh, oh please, we must look at it later. We must go see it. Um, it's amazing. I'm gonna look at her and just be like, it is one of the best pictures I have seen. Ben, you did change this photo though. I did. Um, I did. There was another session where you, yeah, you were like, I'm changing I that photo. Roger, gone. <laughs> do you want to uh, like re- um, have Roger re- return it or? No. Okay. She can know of its existence. She cannot see me being <laughs> No, no, no. Okay. But she is I now at... I also need to bring Harad down to our level because he always... As the eldest, he is so responsible and stuff. And no, he's not. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> he, his, she is on his arm at begging. Can we go see it after? This is... I need to see this. Um, <laughs> she is absolutely enthralled with this. Um, and he is... He's red. Um, by both the mention of the photo and the doting his wife or his uh, bleh, fiance is doing um, to see this photo because this is the most affectionate um, you all have seen somebody be over him. Yes. Um, oh, this uh, is going to be so much fun, brother. <laughs> he glares at you. <laughs> well, he doesn't glare, but he gives you a look. Uh-huh. Like, oh, ugh. It's one of those smiles yeah. where their teeth are like, I'm going to sink them into your throat later and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going uh. to get you back for this. You know I will. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, uh, and, and then he returns a look that's like, uh, you'll never see me again after this. <laughs> <laughs> Just to avoid any of that. Um, at this mm-hmm. point, father is um, quite tipsy and tired. And he's like, I think it's time I should return to my study. Um, but thank you all for coming. And Harad, congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Um, Solana, welcome to our family. I cannot wait to call you my daughter. Um, it's been a lovely evening. And he gets up and, this, and um, the wife... Uh, what's her name? Mommy dearest stands up with him and oh, um, uh, 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 I can't remember my mom's name. One second, Vash, uh, Vash, Vashai. 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 Um, Vashai. Yes, stands up as well and um, quickly uh, accompanies him. Um, Harad and Kessler just kind of do a little sit up and and bow to you know, as the the man of the house is leaving. I, I will there. join them in standing because that's what you're supposed to do, right? <laughs> Yeah. Granny will raise a glass of they tea. Do. Yeah, they st- st- sort of stand up and do a little bow and then sit back down. Um, obviously has to join them. And then mom does so because she wants to. Um, but uh, yeah, now it is the three siblings and Solana. And the rest of you guys. Fun. Tonight has been interesting. Kessler. I miss being around kids like that. The chaos is always interesting. Kessler says, yes, um, the twins are uh, an act, for sure. (laughs) That's how much fun my kids were. What'd you say? It's wonderful. Uh, I didn't hear your blood. I, said, oh, I think they're personally very entertaining. 
Uh, yes, Kess will uh, nod. They've been entertaining since the moment they, they could walk. Um, Harad uh, nods and says, yes, they are... Uh, an eclectic pair, for sure. And Solana pipes up, I think they're absolutely delightful. I cannot wait to get to know them better. Just don't let them bulldoze you, because they will. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I, um, I can handle it. And Rod looks at her and goes, darling, you are an only child. Uh, you will need some, um, Help. hazing, as it were. <laughs> This like, is even the have... worst that families can do. She's like, well, then it's good that I have you. Finn just, like, cackles on the side. Rod out doesn't stand a chance against them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, let's, let's look at this gallery. I want to see this photo, Rod. And she stands up and sort of pulls him with her. And, um... He's like, realizing, yes, okay, of, of course. Um, puts his napkin on the plate and uh, thankful for the reprieve. To, I'll, I'll, you're gonna have to have it added back in. I'm sure Mother has already uh, made the seasonal change, but I'm confident we can find it. And he nods to the rest of everyone else and as they leave and head towards the uh, gallery area where uh, Ramita got lost earlier that morning. <laughs> um, and then it is Kessler and the rest of you. Well, isn't he a charming son of a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to have to roll for that one. <laughs> one way. Okay, so yes, Kessler I'll does not spit out his water. Um, <laughs> he thinks about it, though. <laughs> He's like, okay, he, there's a definite pause of you just said that. Um, I have that is friends. That is our brother. This is this is true. <laughs> uh, Kess, right? Kessler, but yes, you may call me Kess. I. It's just easy to remember. Sorry. <sighs> ben, as far as he's concerned. Ben, interesting. Yeah, we don't like full uh, names around here. We don't like names in general. Half the time. <laughs> and what do just they granny. call you? G granny. Like yep, grandma. Just granny. <laughs> yeah, she she has eight kids and like what sixty three grandkids or something like that. Like something nonsensical. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think. Oh yeah. It's them. wonderful. I love right. it. Are we a part of that number now, or are we not? No, th there's the base eight, and then apparently she's adopted some of us illegally. Um, <laughs> well, just not mm. legally. Just not, not on paper. To, to give you a quick rundown, yes, obviously, right? We have Ramita, who's granny, and I'm Nashville. Everybody calls me Nash. Uh, Fen Rana uh, is is Fen, of course, and then uh, Boston. We usually refer to him as Ass. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Good Just... to know. Um, <laughs> you forgot the last part of that. You forgot the whole. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Partial name, partial name, nickname. It's fine. It's got to be a short name. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Makes sense. But I don't see myself using that name uh, anytime soon. Uh, that, Boston, he, he's but... he's uh, pulling your, your leg, as it were, Cass. <laughs> Unless oh. they do call me that when I'm not around, and that's totally fair. It's cathartic. <laughs> well, um, I guess it's you only fair to say that. I guess it's only fair to share that uh, I used to call Re uh, Venrana Rini when um, <laughs> we were younger. So, Rini. Ooh, I like it. It's um, Rini. I also could yeah. not pronounce my F as a child. So, ah. um, you guys got a game room? I just don't want to sit at the table here oh. and you know sit at the yeah. food. The hell of theater. We, we have, have a pool, a pool, a theater. We have a bar. Um, we have. I could go for a drink, but uh, <laughs> that one can't. Points that to one, Granny. I was about to say, um, <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be weaning her off of 
Uh, I believe Ra- Roderick has downloaded a whole menu of ma- uh, mock- mock-teenies. Mock-teenies? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. Uh, all right. Um, then he, he puts a, an order in his sim chip to uh, redirect Roderick down stairs to the pool. Um, shall we go? A martini is. Because <laughs> a martini is just basically straight liquor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they make. Well, they make liquor nowadays, like liquor that mm-hmm. tastes yeah, like that's liquor. Non-alcoholic. I guess they yeah. do, yeah. yeah. So it could be. I a was trying to help Blade like, get off the off the bottle, and I yeah. bought some of those. And he it's, said it's... it was okay, but he just would like to stick to his regular liquor. <laughs> Who bought it? I bought there. Like, we had there's a smock gin and like wine and like we there's a bunch of different ones that we got, so that way I could try to be supportive oh, wait, so and. It... It tastes with him. like alcohol. It tastes like gin. It tastes like whiskey. It tastes like wine. It smells like wine. Tastes like it smells like whiskey. It's. it's I could look up the website and send it to you guys if you're no. interested. It also, <laughs> that just sounds gross. Have... Them. Um. So anywho, they uh, yeah, Kessler makes the order and uh, Roderick um, heads down in that direction while the rest of the, the bots, there's like now two or three, um, cleaning the whole kitchen. Dishes, every all the mess, putting but away di- absolutely uh, food. grabbing any of the extra like uh, snacks that can go with them and taking them with them. Okay. Also, Kes, right. if me saying that about your brother was out of line, I hope. Absolutely not. Harad, Harad is an asshole. <laughs> he can share boss. How did he land he someone so sweet? <laughs> Harad is. Uh... Looks like he's got pretty fucking big shoes to fill, though. He looks like a clown wearing them. How? How do you mean? Just. I mean, I really didn't get a chance to talk to you, old man. But I mean, if he's trying to be as uh, Fen has actually put it, uh, the living embodiment of your old man, it looks like he's trying his best, and it seems like he doesn't think he's doing well. Uh, Harad is an overachiever and tries to make up for what he doesn't lack, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, father has always been strict. Uh, he has a certain way to him. Um, he's been more encouraging, less affectionate. Um, encouraging. Oh. He does a... He has encouraged you, Finn. Just encourage not me to leave behind what I want to do. What you want and what Father feels is necessary are two different things. But he's never dissuaded you from being who you are. Yes, well, when who I am is very intrinsically tied up with what I want to research. And we'll say at this point you guys are make, down at, oh, yeah. by the bar. Um, is it right if I smoke in here? Um, in here, probably, with it being very specifically a bar, because there probably have been like uh, men who have come over and visited, and there's like a filter. At the very we ventilated enough. Yeah, he'll he'll um he's a little surprised, but yes. Um gives you a nod and Roderick comes out with the same thing that you had before, a hovering mm-hmm. ashtray that also has a filter to it. I know it uh, it kills people, but uh it's a habit I've started not at a good age. Then again, you should never start doing this. And he <laughs> starts Doesn't your abilities help with that though? I won't die of cancer anytime soon, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> I mean, is your throat still... skin? So it looked like only the lungs were metal. <laughs> or do you have... in parts? Is that something you're interested in? <laughs> um... Yes. I don't think... Very few in Aurora inhabit. Um, we oh. did have that one exchange student. Um, uh, do, do you mind? He's about to start unbuttoning his shirt. 
No, please. All right, he does it and just kind of annoyed, but then shows his left rib cage slash stomach area. Okay. Um, I'm interested in this exchange student, though. Question, Boston. Mm. How ripped are you? He... I, I think he's kind of got a more, like, a husky build. Like, he's not ri- he's not shredded by any means. But, like, I mean, the best dad way bod. to... What? Dad bod? No, not a dad bod. Think of... You know how, like, like Mr. Incredible... <laughs> you know how Mr. Incredible, at the end of the film, he wasn't, like, completely shredded? He still had some, like, stomach right. to him because... That sort of build, like he's okay, not so dad ripped. Bod. That's that's a dad bod. Boston. Dad bod, but no or beer bread. belly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. That's a dad bod. That's a. Um, that's the hot dad bod. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a. Um, I've put on pounds, but hot. at the same time, I'm still yeah. strong. Like if if he lost a few inches of of fat, it would be ripped. But it's it's covered by layers mm-hmm. of fat. Um, that's dehydrated himself for a few days. Um, Fen, uh huh, you notice, uh huh. Um, but notice what (laughs) you're gonna have to roll an insight for that. Um, Kessler looks very, um, like wow, that's interesting. Um, you've got Tony, got it. Parts and he's, he he gets close. He's like, "May I?" Uh, with a lifted hand, wants, wanting to touch the parts where your the metal looks is exposed. Sure, just uh, don't press too hard. <laughs> um, and this is a, a material that expands, um, right? Because it's your it's part of your lungs all the way down to your kidney, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, so he, he like. Pushes it and touches it, being that it's mostly metal, it is firm. Um, and just kind of. Are you ticklish? No. Okay. <laughs> definitely so, not. But you definitely feel him, him like touching the difference between the skin and the faux skin or the, the grafted skin and the metal. Um, this is so interesting. What caused this? Uh, an accident from my past. Not this is divulging. Uh, sensitive areas. I didn't meet the surgeon. Actually, I, I woke up after the surgeon was done. This doesn't seem like a normal s- suture. No. Um. Did you schedule the surgery? No. No, I did not. <laughs> no. <laughs> was it? It was not consented to. <laughs> oh. And, and he'll this... put down his shirt and like start bunny back up. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's am alive now because of it, so there's that. The I can said, understand how. Uh, the Thander said you don't get the easy way out. <laughs> I can understand how this would affect your ability to smoke. Oh no, that's more of a religious thing. That's more... Oh. Uh, and he'll Lathander? show, mm-hmm. and he'll show his uh, the holy symbol, and also his cufflinks that he's wearing are also Lathander. Uh, I see. Um, interesting. So you're from Vorak. Yeah. <laughs> sure. In- <laughs> Neat. And you'll notice that's the same response that the twins gave you earlier. I elbow him. <laughs> it's a uh, interesting country. Um, I've never been. I understand Fen was there. Um, yes. Recently. Yes. Uh, we with, met them after a bombing. <laughs> yeah, we met them at the bombing of the church I was staying at. <laughs> I heard about that. Staying at the church. Yeah. Uh, you were there, Fen, when it happened. Oh yeah. No, it blew up. Rather, rather around me. Interesting. And was there any casualties? What was the damage? Did you find the culprit? Um, still chasing the culprits. That's kind of what I'm currently doing. Before you finish anything else, are your siblings? He's gonna look around the bar for any of the little birds or anything like that. <laughs> Roll a yeah perception. 
<laughs> Smart. Hey, that's pretty good. Dirty I'm twenty. Join on that. Dirty twenty. Um, are you aiding or is this your own search? Blood. I'm gonna aid, but it wasn't. Uh, well, no, it's still plus nine for my perception. I think, right? No, that's persuasion. Perception is plus uh, four. I'm so sending. 18. This is what the scarring kind of looks like. This is kind of the inspiration I got for it. Uh, chat. Or not chat, uh, friends. So, Blood, that was an 18? Yeah. Okay, Hi. dirty 20 and an 18. Um, the twins are... The sight or, or, or evidence of the twins is not around. It, it seems they have... Um, Learned their lesson from last time? <laughs> more That's like they're not. preoccupied from the prank that they pulled earlier. <laughs> <laughs> laughing too hard they're, they're being good uh, uh despite they're what happened to avoid uh any more punishment <laughs> more of like they've 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 like if there's a meter of of how much entertainment they they meet they met it and now are doing something else yeah uh Kes, just for the record mm. if you aren't a fan of religion or of vorak you don't have to say that you are that's your decision, that's your life. And there was a time I wasn't interested in either, but that's who I am now. That's all it is. <laughs> um, it's... <sighs> my, may I... Fen, you... Our family isn't, um... I'm watching him flounder and enjoying it. <laughs> Boston, for the record, I, I think we've kind of uh, figured out as like as the players as Boston has no idea <laughs> like, the struggle that is going on with our good boy Kess right now. <laughs> Such a good boy. <laughs> um, Aurora seeks knowledge through uh, observation and research. Vorak seems to be very much on the other side of the same mm, uh, I think coin is the term that they used to use um, where it's uh, belief, trust, faith before evidence and it is uh, an enigma towards what we strive for um, and it is... Fen, have you divulged your friends? Which part? Uh, Fen and Father don't get along. Oh, that, oh, yes, yeah. They know well, about that. Very they, well, well. They've heard me curse at him. I see. Brother. I was worried I might hit him. <laughs> Fen, uh... <laughs> You could say is the first to outright challenge the father. Um, I also did not see eye to eye with, um, but uh, you found enjoyment in what mother did. And I also don't have the dreams. Um, I have not needed or sought any sort of um, fulfillment in things that. Um, cannot be measured um, with evidence, with uh, any sort of scientific tools, research. Um, and uh, I unfortunately do not understand what my sibling has gone through. Um, so while I do not share the Similarities my other um, elder si sibling has, I also cannot empathize with Fen. Fen, right? That's what they're calling you? Fen, yes. I mean, I could say Fen Rana, but it sounds like I'm it, saying it, Fen it... ran away. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Rini is also acceptable. I haven't called... What about Fenny? Sounds more Benny. like a horse, though, and their face isn't long enough for that. <laughs> so. 
I think, like being. I mean, their limbs are the, the bar very subtly. <laughs> I love my friends. I love my friends. I do. I really do. Benny this... was a name uh, one of our schoolmates called them, and we, my brother and I, put a stop to that. But well, um, I mean, your family would need a little bit more of a sense of humor uh, for us to call them Benny. Perhaps. Um, that went over his head, by the way. Yeah, I know. Yeah, a hundred percent. Nash is um, Nash is trying not to lose it because he thought that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> um, Boston is is stifling whatever drink he he he's having. He's just. Um, but uh, we'll uh, give fist bump <laughs> if fist bump is <laughs> accepted. Uh, so other than your work, what do you do for fun? Do you? Do you drink? Do you go to parties? Like, tell us about yourself, Cass. We, um... Yeah, I've I've attended my fair share of parties. Um, similar to the dinner we had tonight. Um, though I'm, I'm sure that's not the type of party you th- think I've gone to. Um, Can you we... mean, you've not had any fun out on the ocean? Oh, the ocean is is wonderful. Um, the swim has been amazing. Um, you would oh, love I it. Don't you it's swim out nothing. There? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's how deep it is. I'd be able to practice so well. Ben, um, it's it's different. It's very different. Um, the texture, the the. Um, velocity and and the depth. There's there's a, a change in in pressure um, as you as you get deeper. It's not not what you've experienced, or, or I, I should say, my, my experience is very much arcane. Oh, speaking of experiences, Fen finally had the first drink. <laughs> <laughs> they ben, threw up on my counter. I drink wine, just <laughs> fine. It's hard liquors. I cannot do. Get some snaps. Uh, you it's all in your head. I I think cannot is something you told yourself, and now I, mean, we I can... took a drink and then absolutely failed. I think I should pause on experimentation on that field. Yes. You guys you. got any mead? I, I... hard liquor is um something we don't drink in vast quantities. And he'll point to the bar, and you see all kinds of drinks, but they're like mostly full there's 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 all the the mead the the gin the vodka the you know all the tonics everything but they're like 80 70 percent full and considering that this this bar was not manned earlier and and like nobody's been down here you you think that those bottles have probably been there for a few years since they were brought brand new Why, why don't we try something a little bit fun we're gonna try out something a little bit lighter let's get some mead going and why don't we play a game of like Never Have I Ever or like Truth or Dare? Just something to get get it out. Come on, you guys haven't seen each other in what months, years? I never say years. Years. Fen I actually I moved out Fen. quite after soon after um, going to college. Correct? Or was it? Yes. Yes. As soon as I got my apprenticeship with. Uh, and I believe uh, Father hasn't seen you in as long, if not longer. Yeah, this was the first time I've seen him in almost seven years. Is Roderick at the bar? <laughs> Roderick is, yeah. Roderick, uh, could you get us um, uh, each a shot of uh, your sweetest mead? Uh, certainly. And he turns around and grabs a bottle that's off the top shelf, and it's practically full. It always tastes, uh, I mean, another time, maybe, if you're going to be doing me, but we could also teach Fen uh, a chaser method. Maybe that would help. That is true. But I'm trying to get them to open up because they haven't seen each other and families shouldn't be far apart for that long. Mm, to be fair, we've all been busy. Sure, but I mean, surely you got things you want to discuss. You know, crazy adventures... Boyfriends, girlfriends, uh, whatever that might be, all that fun stuff, you know. I'm sure, and and 
uh, Kessler actually blushes at that mention of, of boyfriend girlfriends. Um, we've been pretty close up until um, work came, and um, I believe both of us had to keep our fair share of secrets due to um, what we worked on. My project has only been recently been out in the open um, for a few months now. Um, I can't go around telling everyone about the uh, people we are currently chasing. As a drinks Lumen, are set up. Yes, so drinks are definitely already set up. Yep. As a Lumen, um, I understand that uh, most of your work is going to be quite isolating. Yes. And it it's... also is the only way I can get to information not available to the public. Speaking of, did you know that in Vorak, they have a spell that can send you to the dream realm? Like, the realm of where dreams happen. No. This is news. <laughs> it's a thing. It's there. It's there. I've been there. You can actually go into your own dream oh, consciously. Oh, off again. It's well, that's just be done by the power of belief. <laughs> I've lagged. I've lagged again. Hello, I'm back. Oh. Did you hear what I said? I, I did nothing. I, I I made a quip at your brother that uh, it's wild what can be done with the power of belief. Yeah. Um. Cass is uh definitely noticed that one. Um, and kind of like. <laughs> uh, is their I, love language if it helps pretty much I see. that's the only way i fit in well that that that's understandable um all right if we don't want to do a uh, drink how about truth or dare let's just make it fun <laughs> so uh Cass will pick up a, a a drink of mead or a shot glass and then we'll sip it hmm all right. Uh, since you had the first drink, Kess, uh, you get to start us off. Pick someone, truth or dare. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? We're playing a drinking game. I thought it was you, Never Have I Ever that you were playing. It could be one or the other. I just figured Never Have I Ever, some of us might... Um, <laughs> our circles are too different. We might say some things and might be a bit concerned. <laughs> Fair. So it's just like truth or dare is a little easier. It's a little bit of, bit of an icebreaker. I'm not sure how... Truth or dare? You point to a person? You ask them a question, they have to give you an answer or slam the drink. Dare do something. They and if they refuse, they, they, they drink. Something. You have interesting friends, Fana. <laughs> I'm just yeah. a bad influence in general. <laughs> it's, it's been actually rather fun. Um, yes. Compliment? I'm flattered. <laughs> uh. Yeah. That's true to Fen. Fen, right. unfortunately, is um, more like the father than they want to admit. Any of us want to admit. But like I said, uh, Cass, uh, you, you took a sip first. You gotta start the tr truth of the day. Pick someone. Oh, my goodness. Um, we'll start with you then. Um, sure. <laughs> truth or dare. Why not? Damn. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this as a DM. I've never really played this game well, so I don't know what to. I'll, I'll go <laughs> come truth up with. Then. It, but basically, you just ask a question or like, I've never. I know, but when it comes up to with daring and coming oh. up with ideas to dare somebody to do something, my brain goes. So usually, flatlines. it starts with stupid I, stuff like do a backflip or put on. Yeah, a but Kes wouldn't think of that shit. I mean that that's, wake that's, up your yeah. He has True. been on a um he has been on a cruise like basically a tr cruise with ship with another with other Aurorans. Yes. But here's the thing, they obviously would do truth or dare games though. If they're out there by themselves at night, I'm sure they drink and play some like even if it's, you know, modest truth or dare. They I'm sure they did it. Oh, right, you know what? With, truth. Especially if any of the exchange dudes were out there. That's true. Uh, uh truth. I'm I'm sure if any of us ask a question, we'll be honest with it. We'll see. That's the point of the game. That is because I could just straight up lie. 
You don't know. How? how why would you lie, though? Is that your question? <laughs> why? Why do you lie? You look at the shot. Because it's easier. Sometimes it's easier to lie to yourself and to others than admit the truth. Easier? Why? How? And and Kessler is just like not getting this. That's another question. The Roran is very different, brother. Uh, Ramita, truth or dare? Um, let's go for truth. Truth? Ah, you know, fun. Well, fine. <laughs> Dare. <laughs> Damn. There we go. Uh, you got any salt? You got any salt? You got any salt? <laughs> Asking the robot. <laughs> if we, yes, he brings over the salt that you, is used for the margaritas. He pours uh, some salt um, on one of the, the stools. Look off the salt at the stool. <laughs> Look off the salt. Granny's gonna be like, dumb face like you really think I wouldn't do that <laughs> just like immediately goes for it like climbs up the stool a little bit and likes it <laughs> oh <laughs> Cass is a little <laughs> gross alright you have to okay. granny absolutely then truth or dare I'm gonna regret this let's I don't want to answer questions dare screw it <laughs> awesome. Then I dare you to go get that picture and show everyone. Fucking damn it. <laughs> That's that me going answer. for below damn. the belt right out the gate. Oh shit. It was unnecessarily cold. I was trying to be friendly. <laughs> you could always take a drink. <laughs> Meat is sweeter than a, before you drank I'm a, last time. I'm gonna stare directly into Romita's uh, face and start <laughs> drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot more See, like, that was such than a the good other picture. stuff. <laughs> then find it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even find the kitchen myself. Uh, am I gonna have to I attach someone to you? Is. Am I going to have to attach? We we need to just get her a leash, like one of those kid leashes, the backpack leashes. <laughs> Like the back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The ones we saw at. Uh, yeah. We'll have All to, right, like, your turn. One of those. Uh, Remy. Oh, good lord. Um. Oh god. <laughs> I'm going to regret ever introducing <laughs> you to my family, aren't I? Ah, uh, they'll love me. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not them loving you that I have to worry about. Apparently, I have to worry about them telling you things. Um. Why not, Nash? Nash is Truth gonna. Is Nash is gonna stare you down for a hot second? Just, just trying to take a measure. Uh, mm -hmm. Not anything we need to roll for, but. Uh, I mean, we're early. Let's let's start with the dare. All right. How about take a dive through the pool? Through the pool? pool. I think it uh, with with suit on or pants off. <laughs> oh, clothes on. Absolutely. Clothes on. Okay. You are going to be. Those sick. aren't his clothes, though. That's fine. No, our clothes. Uh, and Kessler, I think that is the dare. <laughs> the fact that he's fully clothed, I. I mean, right? some people would say he's got a ship for it, but I guess, yeah, it is kind of early in the night just to play start doing that. I mean, you make him work for Roderick, but okay. <laughs> um, and Nash I will... literally have a spell that can make it better. You're good. Go. Yeah. <laughs> and Nash has no problem with it. Um, he'll, he'll dive straight in. Um, <laughs> with this little itty bitty cape flying uh, as he... <laughs> Um, like a superhero, God's speed. <laughs> roll in athletics to see what kind of a dive this is. Oh, How big is the splash? Is it a bloop? <laughs> I'm just going to salute him as he jumps in. <laughs> is it super awesome or is this a belly flop? Which, I mean, this pool is stupid deep. It it's is like Olympic a Olympic size. pool? Yeah. Oh, yeah, then. Yeah, and nice. also you'll notice that when you're in it, um, oh, what did you say? Oh, For I was, was going to say that's an eight. 
um, because the dice don't like me. <laughs> Not when you're doing uh, these things, apparently. No. Okay, so your your dive is is a sideways dive, and it looks close like a, a, a belly flop, but it's not quite. Shoulder first instead of tummy first. <laughs> kind of, yeah. I um, like like a like a dead like a dolphin. Nash, like many city kids, did not have uh, regular access to a pool. Um, he can <laughs> swim, for the record. He. Uh, oh yeah, no question the, there. Later his, in life, his, but, but from what I was talking about, like the arc, is it a beautiful arc or is it just? Oh, I I know. I'm 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 elaborating. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. <laughs> right, and so, um, he just sort of sends it. Um, and usually relies on full power um, and just doing this to make it to the end of the pool. Um, <laughs> he just sort of torpedoes underneath the surface. Nice. Um, as much as possible. <laughs> uh, uh, so if ever there comes to a point where he, he does notice that this is not like regular water. It what is it like thick water? Is it like... No, 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 no. It is actually, in fact, lighter and very oxygenated. And yes, if you take a breath and accidentally get water in your mouth, you can breathe. It's fine. Also, oh, it's um, convenient with children, so you don't drown. You find, you find yourself like <laughs> super uh, immediately on the other side. Like what you thought was going to take more effort to get to the other side of the pool, you're almost having to try and stop before, or you crash into it. <sighs> You good or you need another lap? <laughs> um, then um, you notice Kessler having a visual reaction. As, um, as Nash gets out, he is going to take off the overcoat and wring it out over the pool. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is something he will absolutely do. Oh. And a show, good golly, Dash! Come on, we're not in prison anymore. Focus. Hang it back. <laughs> hang the overcoat over his shoulder and walk back. Nice. Does he um, her back? I like the no, I this is this is all practical. This is not performance. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. What did Finn um, say to the brother, or is it just too quiet for any of us to hear? Did the DM hear? Because I did mumble that under, like... Unfortunately, I did not hear it. Okay, um, so leaning over two casts, specifically only two casts, mm -hmm. can just, like, bench press people, too. <laughs> I'm gonna have to roll for this boy's <laughs> embarrassment. Why are you bullying this poor, small boy? Because he's my brother! <laughs> and okay, so he, so he failed fun. that. Oh, And, no. um... So, Nash, when you come back, Kess is um, full on embarrassed. And uh, if he were an anime, he had a little bit of blo blood dripping from his nose. Um, <laughs> oh no! A poor boy! Grinning, grinning over there, looking at him. <laughs> oh dear God. And trying his best to look away, but not very successfully. Um... And Nash will put the overcoat back on. Um, <laughs> it's all he can do. Like, there's, there's not much Nash can do at this point. Um, hey, Kes on, saw really everything good. and is already in his memory, uh, memory banks. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> um, almost midnight for uh, certain people. We should probably. I was gonna that. say, yeah. <laughs> let's, almost let's... midnight. <laughs> we'll we'll call it we here and pick up with this next 15 time. Minutes ago. Um, we did. Um let's let's call it here at this point. Um we'll finish this pool party up next time. Um uh, I, can, uh, <laughs> can we fade out on uh Nash because the, the to complete the circuit, um Nash will inevitably have to turn to uh Kess uh and ask them truth or dare. Um, oh yeah, we, we should can, Fade out. We don't have to go through that. We can fade that right there. Okay. Right. Uh, perfect. So wonderful. Thank you everybody for joining us tonight. Um, let's go through the inner workings of each character. Ramita, why don't you start us off? Um, yeah. Granny's sad that she can't be drinking right now, but seeing that little moment, she's got an evil grin. Forming. Um, 
other than that, how did I she feel about the dinner tonight? Um, she thought the dinner was delicious. That's all she could focus on was the food. Okay. <laughs> she didn't really pay attention to anything else. It was just the food in front of her face. And she and did have the twins, twins across the like, table. encouraging her going, this is good. That's good. You got to try this. And very much bonding. Makes um, like this. Oh, yeah. She's full. She is very full. Like, bloated. <laughs> you could roll her down the freaking hallway. Awesome. Uh... And let's toss it over to someone. And let's go to the one that... Yo, I... oh, Tony, Tony. I'm gonna say the one that looks the most asleep, but everyone like looked really asleep at that moment. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking about I am the most awakest person here. Sure, uh, sure, no. sure. Um, awakiest. Awakey, wakiest. Um, Egg and bakey. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Tony, uh, what is Nash thinking? Nash is feeling? Uh, one slightly awkward here. Uh, <laughs> slightly weird. Because that's, I mean, it's one thing if you're like trying to show off. It's another if you accidentally show off and somebody <laughs> is that you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, friend. Uh, right? Like, so, um, you know, but uh, Nash is starting to feel a little bit better about Aurora, but there's still the a lot of snootiness um, and uh, and that sort of stuff. Um, there's there's a lot that I don't I don't know. It's something about today's uh, engagement didn't quite sit well with him um and and it may just be uh the the way uh the new bride said with encouraging from my family um as if there was some coercion going on like it, it just didn't quite sit in well with him and he doesn't know why. He doesn't understand what's uh, what happened or why uh, that's the case. And it may pass, but um, but he's still mulling that over and, and looking for clues on that aspect. Um, yeah. Um, other than that, he's wet. Thanks to some Again. assholes. Again. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, my name is Tony. You can find me online at Tony Will Edit. Uh, mostly the TikToks. Um, when I can remember to post them, I swear. Oof. Everything is fine. E. Um, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, uh, Brett. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Oh, my name is just Brett t -t 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 with three T's on Twitch. And, uh, Boston is, I mean, He's here and he thinks he's making a friend with um with Kess Kessler. Um but at the same time it it did feel kind of weird for a guy to say, hey, can I touch touch your like injuries? Like I, I guess sure. But yeah, Boston has no idea what's going on with that. Uh just Kessler's kind of weird, but that's fine. He's related to Fen, it's not that big of an issue. Um He's related and, to Fen, you expect that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> he wants to have a conversation with the dad, but the dad kind of excused himself before that could really happen. But the dinner was fine. Uh, hanging out with the kid, he feels like he maybe didn't get closer with the, the kids, but uh, technically they own one, so you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's he's also feeling a little better, but I think also there's probably a bit of relief that you know he hasn't had any real repercussions for being honest at the moment. That's given to change soon, though. I'm sure he's sure. But yeah, I stream every day except for uh, Sundays here on, on Twitch. Uh, this is YouTube. This is YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, I am trying to start posting on YouTube sooner than later. Um, we shall see. Um, but yeah, that's that's me. Uh, I'm also kind of on TikTok. I haven't posted in literally a year, uh, but I want to start sooner than later. Let's hot potato it over to blood. Hello. 
I am Bloodlust King. And <laughs> Fenrana is having an absolute fucking time tormenting their brother. Us. Because this is the... Basically how they interacted anyway beforehand is Fen's the one that isn't as uptight. Because that's their way of rebelling from their father in the, in the first place. Was, I'm just gonna not be what you want me to be. Fuck you. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, actually really enjoying the day. After uh, the whole going to the school, finding out, oh no, we could have major potential security breaches and shit shows for uh, the next few bits. This reprieve has been nice, even if it's been, like, an awkward-ish uh, dinner party that they fo took full advantage of there being someone else there for. <laughs> uh, and then just relaxing and, like, unwinding at the end. So, yeah. Also, once again, it's just fun to pick on Kiss. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am Bloodless King. I am a VTuber over on Twitch. Um, I have a couple of videos here on the YouTube. I need to put out some of my more, uh, some more of my vods, but eh. yeah. we'll see whether or not I actually remember to do that or not. Uh, <laughs> I have them in a folder, and I just have to put them on to YouTube. With Actually, I'll names. DM me tomorrow if you remember, or I'll remember tomorrow, because um, there's a way that uh, Twitch actually can help with that, making it easier. Ooh, nice. But yeah, um, yeah, th that and then, like, I don't do TikTok very much anymore, like, at all. <laughs> I kind of fell off that bus, so, you know. Uh, yeah. Other than that, let's go to our lovely DM. You are up. Yay! <laughs> to be fair, TikTok's not. I am on the the stream. <laughs> it's not like you have it. It hasn't changed, or it's you know constantly different every time. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, TikTok hasn't been the same in a while. But um, yes, I am Gear Sparks. Uh, just a little little insight on the NPCs. Um, the twins, uh, they think they are good with everything. Everything is good. Um, so if if Boston thinks that the twins owe him, they're not aware of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> they feel like he just gave them a gift because kindness or something. I don't know. <laughs> no. um, uh, so... <laughs> not even and a little then, bit. <laughs> Um, stabbed a guy and then gave us a <laughs> gift. <laughs> yep. It's like Krampus meets Santa Claus. We're gonna be warping their fucking worldview so hard. Oh my god, I'm torment. No. <laughs> um, and Kessler is a very yeah. No, Kessler. <laughs> Kessler. Wound. What? Tightly wound. To very, yes, uh, went from a very easygoing evening to a very intense evening of um, becoming a fangirl of Fen's friends very quickly. <laughs> um, the question is, which one has more, which one has more points? <laughs> which one has more sway? Yeah, well, yeah. right now uh, it would be Nash. Um, the one that's not wet. <laughs> the one that is, is winning the wet t-shirt contest, basically. The solo wet t-shirt contest, I might say. Um, and uh, is is very much um, the the dynamic is 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 very different from what Kessler is <laughs> with their, their sibling. Um, usually they're the one having to save Fen from being uh, all flustered and um, now it is the uh, shoes on... Yeah. <laughs> not that not that uh, uh, Kessler has ever targeted Fen, but no, uh, no, not, the way Fen is, not the way Fen is targeting them now. <laughs> so like, 
Yeah. Um. Listen, listen, listen. He's a big boy. He can survive. He will survive. He has survived. Um. Uh. But you know. Um. On the ocean, away from people. Yeah. Right. Well. <laughs> um. And yeah, the family is just doing their thing at the moment. Um. So, all's well that ends well. Um. Or so we think. Tune in next week to find out. Um, what I mean, else? I dodged. I dodged having to talk to my dad. We're good. <laughs> I don't need to stay in this house <laughs> any longer. I gotta go. I mean, the night is young, but also you know tomorrow exists. So uh, we will see what happens um, after the alcohol is is gone and people have had a night's rest. And uh, yeah, find us. A- Back here next week, Wednesday, 9.30 Eastern, as we continue trying to uh, not break character, um, or so we think. Uh, (laughs) But yeah, have a good evening, and we'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye. Bye! Bye!